There's a half price sale on at Weatherfield Carpets and Rugs. What do you think about replacing the one in the landing? There's always a sale on in every carpet shop in the world. That's how they get you through the door. Same with beds and wardrobes. When have you ever paid full price for any piece of furniture? Hmm? It was just a thought. Well, I don't like seeing you being taken in like that. Anyway, never mind the landing carpet. I'll tell you what needs replacing. Hmm? That cardigan. This? Hmm. Let's spend our hard-earned money on you, not the spare room. I quite like this. We could go into town or the Trafford Centre, get you kitted out. Today? <laughs> Bags look more expensive than most of the things in my wardrobe. Well, the bag your boots came in is a cracker. I'd keep that. I'm keeping all of them. They're so sturdy. So, the last combination. Yasmin wears sparkling top, faux leather skirt, ankle boots, scarf, model zone. <laughs> it's all models own. It's fabulous. Yes, but do you think this skirt's okay? It's not too young for me. We had all this with the woman in the shop. She just wanted the sale. The skirt is the best thing you bought all day. Do you like these boots? Yeah, I like those boots, and I like the other boots. But which one should I wear to the pub? The pub? Yes, to see Kathy and Brian. Oh, yeah. I'd forgotten about that. We don't have to go. Oh, it's up to you. I'd rather stay in together and have some tea. Drinking in the afternoon's never been my bag. It's for people who can't wait till later. I can wait. I can stay in, too. It would spare us any more of Brian's gripping tales. Oh, he's all right. Was well, that why you want to go? So you can flaunt your new outfit for him? Cheers, mate. See ya. Hey, little hen, when, when, when will you lay me an egg for my tea? I mean breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> not one of Charlotte's. Oh, she's still not laying. No, that's why I had to buy these. But you will not get a double yoker from Fresco's value. But they're cooked for me, and that is the main treat. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, not again. Excuse me. You got a call coming on. Oh, I wish. I'm allergic to all this dust. Is the house dusty? You bet it is. Look. Right thing. <sighs> Do we really need a rotor? Oh, it's the only way to make sure the jobs actually get done. Color-coded, no less. Yep. Pink dots are yours, blue dots are mine. So today, you've got to empty the bins. Which I've already done. Mm. And I have got washing up, hoovering, dusting, skirting boards, all of which is much more time-consuming than yours. Well, obviously, I can't dust. I wouldn't be able to breathe. It's all being divvied up fairly, trust me. Mm. All right, forget it. I'll ring a cleaning company and get them to come over and do your share of the jobs. But in the meantime, I shall have to move out and stay in a hotel. It's fine. I will do my jobs. Right. You do realize the mite population has multiplied since we've been stood here gassing? We better get on then. We've got a busy day ahead. Just you, I'm afraid. I promise to help out at the hospital. Bye. <laughs> oh, just let me look. Oh, no. Afternoon, oh, ladies. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, boozy lunch. Oh. My fault. <laughs> um, are you back early? Yeah, mixing desks on the blink. Oh. Look, uh, shall I leave you two at it? You can have another drink, more of a girly chat. No, 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 no. I've got to be getting back. Brian will be wondering where I am. Right. Besides, we've just about polished off two bottles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, will you need a hand getting back? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be fine, Tar. Oh, I've had a lovely time. <laughs> Me too. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Give my regards to Brian. Will do. Whoops. <laughs> <sighs> I hope I didn't spoil your fun. Are you OK? No, I'm just surprised you've had time to sit around boozing with your mate. Time? 
It's my day off. I bumped into her, I invited her to lunch. And you had a list of jobs to do, your share of the rota. We talked about this. But I know I did my share of the rota. This morning before she came. We need to keep the house extra clean. It's spotless. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What was item three on the list? I, I, item three, I don't remember. Dust the skirting. I gave him, them a quick wipe. This isn't about the cleaning, it's about trust. What, what do you mean? You said to do something and you didn't. You're completely overreacting. Well, do what you like. You can get drunk all day for all I care, but don't insult my intelligence. Come over here. What are you doing? Crouch down. Why? Crouch down. It's a mark. I missed a bit. It's not a mark. It's a cross. I put it there. You put it there? Are you trying to catch me out? I told him you had no... Do such a thing. It's so petty. No, 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 no. What's petty is you not cleaning properly. Well, I clean like I always do. Yeah, lazily, badly, incompetently. I worked hard. And yet you didn't clean there, there or there. OK, 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 I will clean it now. Well, don't bother. It's too late. I'll do it myself. Jeffrey, please. Oh, give it a rest, will you? You're like a stuck record. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at this carpet covered in bits. Another thing to add to my list. Oh, God, I, can, I can do that. No, I'm doing it myself. Jeffrey, please. It's Jeffrey. What? Jeffrey. You're being, you're being ridiculous. Don't call me ridiculous. Let go. No. Let go, will you, woman? Let go. <laughs> ah. Oh no. Ah. Are you okay? Oh, no. Of course I'm not your stupid woman. I just whacked my head on the table. I'll get some ice. Oh. <sighs> really sorry for everything. Brought you a cup of tea. I'm not thirsty. Oh, don't be like that. I'm not being like anything. I haven't got time for tea. <laughs> You should be resting. You're injured. Well, this house isn't going to clean itself, and you're clearly not capable of doing it. I mean, who lives like this? It's worse than a pigsty. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. <sighs> Do you know what? I've had enough. It's too much for me. I feel like Canute trying to hold back a tide of filth. <sighs> Jeff, please. I don't want to argue. Leave me alone. Yeah, I think it's in the kitchen. I'll be as quick as I can. Where the hell have you been? My eye's killing me and I can't find any damn painkillers anywhere. We'll talk about it later. No, we'll talk about it now. Why have you been gone so long? I want to get some biscuits to say I'm sorry. You've been gone seven minutes. Since when does it take seven minutes to go to the shop? Uh, <clears throat> found it. OK. You should have told me we had guests. Oh, would you like a brew? No, no, you're, uh, you're all right. I uh, should get going. Oh, your eye looks bad. Is that why you've got a migraine? I haven't got a migraine. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see myself out. <laughs> Bye. Let me go and speak to Cathy. I'll explain. No. Just leave it. It only makes things worse. Everybody has rows. She knows that. But not everyone has a wife like you constantly causing aggro. Am I? I can't believe you even have to ask me that. It's everything. The drinking, the mess. It's one thing after another. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realise you felt this way. Well, no wonder everyone ends up moving out and leaving you. What do you mean? Well, sit down, Rana. Your ex-husband, all a coincidence. And the worst thing is, I hate myself for being so annoyed, but I can't get away from it. It's you that makes me feel like this. I don't know what to do. What you mean it was a... Where did you go? I tried to ring you. I needed to get out. Clear my head. 
And I did some thinking. And I want to apologise for having a go at you. It's OK, I understand. Oh, I lost my temper and that was unforgivable. But the truth is, I'm struggling with my health. I know. You have a dust allergy. No, it's not just that. Look, I, I, I didn't want to worry you because I thought we could stay on top of it, but... The doc reckons it's linked to what I had before. Oh, no. I thought you were over that. Well, I was getting over it, but... Well, this is a bit of a setback. I'm so sorry. And if it gets any worse, it's respiratory problems, asthma, and you know where that goes when you're my age. Oh, please don't talk like that. These little red crosses, they're not some daft game. I'm not trying to get it here. I'm trying to save my life. I'm sorry if I overreacted. No, no, it's, it's not your fault. It's mine. I will make sure the house is spotless. I promise you, your health must come first. Thanks, love. You bought me some biscuits to say sorry. So <laughs> I bought you something, too. For me? You shouldn't have. I don't deserve it. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. It's a little beauty, this. Top of the range. Lots of attachments, allergy filters, the works. It's going to change our lives. <sighs> I'll test drive it straight away. I was just thinking about that song, I drove all night. We should change it to, I cleaned all night. <laughs> well, standards must be maintained. How are you getting on with that cleaning schedule? Oh, well, gosh, it's very detailed. Thank you. <laughs> um, the new vacuum cleaner. Is your new best friend? Superb. I love it, the, the suction. <laughs> it's nice to see all these ticks. You know, the, the slatted blinds in the back bedroom are the trickiest, but your suggestion of rubbing each one down with a damp sock, that was inspired. <laughs> well, common sense, really. But I guess we just can't all know these things intrinsically. Oh, I know. Well, I know now, and, and that's the main thing. Exactly. I like it when we're both happy. Oh, yeah. it's, it's very physical work, cleaning. I feel like I've done an all-night session at the gym. There's no need to exaggerate. <laughs> Smell that. Go on. What does that smell of? Health. Mm? <sighs> It'll help my dust allergy no end. But th that's all I care about, my darling. Your health and happiness. Well, show. Don't tell. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't started lunch yet. Just chatting to Cathy. Hi, Cathy. Everything tickety-boo? Yes, no, I'm, uh, I'm great. Thanks, Jeff. Good. Good. I'm sorry about yesterday. If I was a bit shouty, I'd had two triple espressos. <laughs> I, uh, I should make a move. Well, don't go on my behalf. No, no, uh, I need to relieve Brian in the cabin. Why? <laughs> Yeah, I thought you had to go. Bye, Yasmin. Bye. I'll see you out. See you. Right. How is it? Well, it's soup from a tin. It's hardly not a lengi. Will you stop hovering, Yasmin? You're making me edgy. I don't know why you just don't stand sentry by the door. You let Cathy in often enough. She just popped in to see me. Why, does she fancy you? Is she a lesbian? No. She could be one of them lipstick ones. <sighs> she came to see me because I got upset. What about? I keep getting everything wrong. Yes, but think of all the learning you're doing from said mistakes, hmm? <sighs> At the same time, you know I don't like other people knowing our business. 
I'm sorry. You might as well hang your dirty knickers on the line across the street for everyone to see. I know. It can be arranged. <laughs> as if I would. <laughs> and a cream home, please. Very therapeutic, cleaning the cleaner. Yeah, I've been for a walk. I needed to think. Is everything OK? What's happened? I need to talk to you about something urgently. OK. I am worried about your drinking. OK, why? Why, she asks. Why? You don't have to worry about my alcohol intake. Oh, don't I? Really? Jeffrey! You drink every day. So? Uh, it's not just me who's worried. Who else is? Well, I'm not going to break any confidences. But don't be ridiculous. Who's that? Alcoholics Anonymous come to stage an intervention. Hi, Jeff. Is uh, Yasmin in? I'm sorry, but I, I don't mean to interfere, OK? But it's just that Brian reached out to me because he's worried. He, I mean, he's, he said he's worried about everything that's happening here. Is this some kind of sick joke? Yasmin, you don't have to hide this anymore, OK? You don't have to waste all this energy. Yeah, I, I think you better go. You know, many moons ago, I was in your shoes and I would have said exactly the same thing, believe me. I am not you. No, I know. I understand that, but... You know, how, how different as any of us, really, deep down? Things aren't that bad, are they? Well... <laughs> how did you stop drinking? Well, uh, I stopped drinking with the help of my support group, did the 12 steps, my sponsor and the higher power. Would you like to come to a meeting with me? Um... Well, would you? I don't think It's completely that... up to you. Nobody can make you, and nobody can say you've got a problem but you. Oh, it's OK, Jeff. And... Well, look, just, just take my number, OK? And, and if you need to talk, just call me. Please. Don't pick up a drink. Pick up the phone and call me. I know it's a lot to take in. Right, Alan. I'll go. Thanks, Jeff. How could you say all that to Peter? I didn't breathe a word. Well, not to Peter. I might have mentioned something to Brian. Very, very vague. Oh, don't look at me like that. I don't know if you've got a drink problem, do I? I'm not an expert like him. What is it? You wouldn't understand. Jeff. You don't care. I do. Tim's mum was a drinker. A big drinker. She was an alcoholic. She was abusive. She hurt me so much. And... And every time I see you reach for the bottle, I get these horrendous flashbacks. It's like I'm on the beach at Dunkirk or something. When things get tense between us, it feels like I'm right back there with her. And I'm sorry, but, yeah, this might seem like an overreaction, but I've been so, so scared. It's history repeating itself. She put me in hospital. It's funny. I said I'd never live with a drinker again. <laughs> I also said I'd never live with anyone who was physically abusive again. Oh, the naivety of youth. But... But I haven't been... I know. Rationally, I know. But it's hard on an emotional level. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we're headed. And I think the only way we can move forward as a couple is... if you stop drinking. 
Can you prove that you love me? And do that for me? Well, I think he's been dead. Now consider the evidence. Drunk for my dinner party. And that night I slept in the spare room because you were staggering all over the place. Yes, you were. Tipsy at bridge. Need I really go on? I never used to drink when I was younger. When Sharif and I got together, I never touched a drop out of respect for him. He was very devout. Oh, so you'll do it for him, but not for me. Great, thanks. Nice one. So, no, maybe. I don't know my limits. I suppose I thought by marrying you and, and keeping you busy with the house, that'd make you happy. But I am happy. And therefore, you wouldn't want to drink anymore. But when I saw you boozing with Cathy, I just knew. Everything I've given you, everything I've done for you, is not enough. I'm not enough. You need the drink. And I clearly can't live up to our Lord and Master Saint Sharif. I don't need the drink. What's more important to you? Me or the booze? You, of course! No, I don't want a quick response. I want you to really think about it and be honest with me, even if it hurts us both. Don't say another word just yet. Where are you going? Out. And when I get back, I want your answer. I want clarity on where we go from here. I really don't want to lose you. But maybe I'll have to. I'll leave you with your thoughts. I don't want to hurt you or scare you ever again. Thank you. I love you. Refreshing. And I don't wish to be compared to your ex-wife in any way, shape or form. If I have a problem, I will beat it. From now on, I don't drink. Are you pleased? Yes, I I'm not pleased about any of this. It's incredibly painful for me. I'm sorry. But I guess the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And you don't need to worry about there being any booze in this house. I've thrown it all away. But what if I want some? I'm not an alcoholic. You can put it in a cupboard. Locked? If you so desire, but it won't bother me if it's not locked. Yeah. This sounds doable. I think... you might not like this. What? I think I should have your cards. My cards? Debit. Credit. Really? Why? If you're off out with Cathy or someone, you won't be tempted to tap and tipple. And then I'd know you were really serious about this. You know how much I love you. Make it up, hog. <laughs> oh, well done, Jazzy Gumdrops. My favourite person on the whole planet. How was it? Delicious. I'm sorry there were no eggs. Charlotte will start laying again soon. I'll pick up some on the way home. Uh -huh. Oh! Better get off. Are you sure? I can't come in with you. Thought we agreed it was best to cut down your shift. We did, but you'll be rushed off your feet. <laughs> I'll cope. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather have you safe here than watching folk drink wine at speed, Dale. Thanks for breakfast, my love. I'll make you my mutton karai for dinner. I know it's your favourite. I am a lucky, lucky man. Um... Could I possibly have some cash? What for? Well, I'm running out of antibacterial spray. I might have to get some more. Of course. Okay. Thanks. Oh, no. All right. I do hate limiting your money, but I don't want you tempted by the booze. I understand. I'll keep the receipt and give you back the change. 
Love you. I love you too. Darling, how thoughtful. Just a little something for my beautiful wife. Oh, smells good. Chicken karai. I thought you were going to make the mutton. We were, but then I realized I didn't have any lamb in the fridge, so I thought I'd make this instead. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I know, my love, but I, I didn't have enough money to buy the lamb as well as the cleaning stuff. Well, you could have texted me. I would have got some on the way back. Oh, yes. I should. I'm sorry, but I promise I'll make it for you tomorrow. Good. Um, how was Speed done? Oh, busy. We had a party in someone's birthday. And Alia disappeared at lunchtime. Didn't even tell me why. That's not like her. Hmm. You should have called me to help. Oh, I managed, and I didn't want to put you in the way of temptation. <laughs> Place looks nice. I did the bathroom as well. Ironed all the bed linen and still had time to read a few chapters of my book. <laughs> and don't worry. I told Cathy I wouldn't be going to the book club for a while. It's fine for me. It means I can read at my leisure without having to rush through. When did you see Cathy? Uh, I bumped into her on the way to the shops. We exchanged a few words. I think it's wise about the book club and not hanging around with drinkers for a while. Drinkers like Cathy. Oh, look. Non-alcoholic wine. Oh. I'm going to try and drink less when we're together. You don't have to do that. I want to. I love you. And I want to give you all the support you need. Hard, I see. Oh, well, I'm either here or at home. It's hardly the glamorous life. <laughs> Hello, Alia. Good to see you. How are things at the bistro? Great. I'm really enjoying it as it happens, and the money's not bad either. Here's me thinking you'd miss this place. Come running back. Oh, well, I'm still a silent partner, so it's not like I've totally left. Emphasis on the silent. <laughs> Funny enough, that's sort of why I'm here. I feel like I haven't talked to you properly for ages. Have you got time for a quick coffee and a catch up? Well, well. Pretty much set up for the day. You don't mind, do you? Don't be daft. Why would I mind you spending time with your granddaughter? I'll bring the coffees over. Listen, I want to run something by you. I've been thinking of giving the DJ in a bit of a rest, and, uh, well, instead, how about... Magic while you masticate. What's that? Yeah, OK, so the wording could do with a bit of work. But the basic concept is, I entertain the punters with some card tricks and sleight of hand while you take care of things on the floor. I'm not sure I could cope without you helping. It's hard enough now that Alia's not here. Well, I reckon we should think about it at least. About what? You're not even listening to me. Forgive me. I'm, I'm just a bit tired. Why? Because you've been on your feet for almost a whole hour. I don't know what this is really about. I heard Alia talking to you before about your drink problem. It's touched a nerve, hasn't it? No. As I said to her, I'm over all that now. I'm fine. Then how come we're both still worried about you? Has table two paid? Eh? Yeah. Table two. Yeah. Yeah, they paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give it a number. Thank you. Yeah. One minute. I'm really sorry I interfered with your party plans. It was a bit rich of you to suggest I didn't have time to practice when you've been holding hands in a circle with a bunch of alcoholics all day. I thought you wanted me to go. And you know what? I'm really glad I did. Oh, I... I mean, the stories I heard, the lengths, the desperate lengths people will go to to get a drink, it's so sad. It made me realise that my issues with alcohol are not insurmountable. They pale in comparison to other people's. 
Well, then, if that's the case, we should celebrate. Crack open a bottle. What? No! Well, if you haven't got a problem at all, we could have a drink together like normal people. That's not what I meant. Really, if you're not stealing from the corner shop or neck and nail varnish remover, you're clearly all right. Come on. Sup up. Jeff, I don't want to. Drink it. Uh, uh, uh. Every last drop. Hey, Tara. Please. Don't make me drink anymore. I do have a I do have a problem. I was so silly to suggest otherwise. I never want to look at another glass of wine again. And you won't have to if you let me look after you. Jeff knows best, remember? Oh god. Whoever that is, please, please get rid of them. Oh, Peter, come in. Hey, Jeff, is uh, Yasmin in? She's indisposed at the moment, Peter. Can I give her a message? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. It's just, uh, I just wanted to see how she got on at the meeting. Sorry. Has she been drinking? Yeah. Yeah. Your little meeting only served to convince her that she has no problem at all. Came home, tried to sing a bottle of wine. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I think she'll be giving the next meeting a bit of a miss. We were doing just fine by ourselves, thank you. Well, it's, it's not for everybody. Quite. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to try and sober up my wife. Yeah, then you'll never have to see me ever again. This hat was where it all started. Fifteen years old, I told my dad I was going to pull a rabbit out of a hat, and I flipping well did. In less than 20 minutes. <laughs> a new record. Tea? Thank you. Hard man to impress my dad. Hard man in general. But he was impressed that day. Uh, we're, we're out of tea bags. I need to do a shop. Oh, I'll put your housekeeping on the side. Twenty pounds? Where's the rest? Where's the rest? Cheeky mare. For a week's shop? If you're careful, shop around a bit. We should be saving loads now you're off the booze. Think of it as a challenge. I'm not a child, you know. <sighs> Why do you have to turn everything into a fight? Today's meant to be a good day. You know how much I love doing a show. OK. OK, I'll have a go, as long as you don't start complaining about boring food. Darling. How could anything be boring coming from your fair hand? Hey, get a room. Got one. You're in it. Yeah, it might be in it a bit longer, cos I've got to give Sally a bit of space. See you later. Bye. Bye. Do you think if I really tried, he'd fit in here? So are you all ready for the big show? Actually, no. I'm working on a new illusion, and Emma's only around to practice today. You'll be OK on your own, won't you? Yep, no problem. We said that quickly enough. Anyone would think I'm not wanted. You're not thinking of sneaking off to any more meetings, are you? Of course I'm not. I just know how much this show means to you. It does. You're right. You know, I think one of the reasons I've been, well, a bit up and down recently is that I don't have an outlet. I, I need to show off sometimes, be the centre of attention. Like with your dad. All right, Sigmund Freud. Up it. Like... A rabbit. I do the jokes around here. Ooh. Right, you basically summed up my act. Then she'll love it. <laughs> Yasmin! If I leave it charging, I always forget it. <laughs> love, he's just told me he's covering for you. Oh, yes, he very kindly agreed to step in. My gorgeous granddaughter's organised a massage for me. Don't worry, I'll be gone two hours tops. Oh. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, of course, but it's just... Uh, can we go now? It'll be good to get two sex, sex mate. Two sex. Um, Flippin' Emma's just pulled out. Oh, no. I was going to ask if you could do it. Really? Yeah, you're great in front of an audience, but never mind. No, no, it, 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 it's just that Alia's booked it. 
Honestly, forget it. It, it. It's fine. I'll tell him I can't do it. I've got a mate who's looking for gigs. Right. No. I can't let you cancel. You were looking forward to it. You can't be helped. No. I'll ask Alia to rearrange, and if she can't, she can get someone else to go with her. I can't ask you to do that. I want to. As long as I get to wear something sparkly. <laughs> of course you can. You're an angel. Thank you. Maria. Then I push the plunger across, and the glamorous assistant is impossibly crushed. Right. So is there a false bottom or something? I am overwhelmed by your enthusiasm. Yes, there's a false bottom. You're not actually crushed. Sorry. So, your feet go in here, and the walls and plunger are made of stretchy material, so there's space for you. Oh, but it's, it's still quite tight, though. Yes, otherwise it wouldn't work. So, hold off on the pies for lunch. Is there anything else you'd like to complain about? I'm just saying I'm not very good in enclosed spaces. All right, forget it. It's going to be a disaster. No. Oh, I thought you wanted to help me. But I do. I'm just nervous. I haven't done anything like this before. Which is why we're practising. Who's that? Oh, damn. Well, it's Alia. I should probably answer. Fine, answer the damn phone then. Never mind about this. Never mind about everything I've worked for. As long as you organise your next flipping spa date. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm hanging up. I'm sorry. It's just. You're right. This means a lot to me. There's barely an hour to go. Can we please practice? Yeah, okay, I'll turn it off. Good. So, get in the box. Oh. I thought it was all absolute tosh. Ladies, gentlemen, and babies, I am the great Magnifico, and this is my lovely assistant, Yasmin. Tonight, for your delectation, we will be performing The Plunger of Doom, otherwise known as The Disappearing Woman. Unless you won't laugh. No, quick, get in before that one out there see you. What do you think? You see? This is what happens when you make a bit of an effort. You look great. I don't look silly. No. Do you want to go over it all again? Oh, yes, please, just one more time. I really don't want to muck this up. You'll be fine. And if anything goes wrong, we'll make a joke of it, and they'll just think it's part of the act. Like Penn and Teller. OK. Right. So, I go out. Ladies, gentlemen, and babies, I am the great Magnifico, and this is my lovely assistant, Yasmin! Does anybody think that Ali may be... Ready? Ready. Then maybe try a smile? <sighs> right. Lights, please. Ladies, gentlemen, and babies. I am the great Magnifico, and this is my lovely assistant, Yasmin! <laughs> And now, anyone of a nervous disposition might want to turn away for this bit. Think about the kids, Dad. No, it's fine. She's not enough. Then I can proceed to crush my glamorous assistant. Are you all right in there, Yasmin? I'm fine. Then give us a little wave. <laughs> there you are. As I was saying, I can now proceed to crush with every ounce of my energy, my glamorous assistant, no, no, no. to mere atoms. <laughs> oh, oh. But do not fear, ladies and gentlemen. Yasmin always said she wanted to be thinner. <laughs> and now, with a little mastery of the elements, and not a little sleight of hand. Always <laughs> oh, do the wave. I love the wave. Stop milking it. Fair enough. We can restore my glamorous assistant to her full dimensions. Full dimensions. Two sex. You want to oil that plunger, mate? Yeah, that's what she said. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. The elements are playing up. 
But why don't you do the wave about hell? <laughs> it's caught, it's caught on my clothes. Hang on, are you saying she's not actually crushed? Yes, me, no. Can you hear us? Yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just, just a bit squishy in here. And she's okay. Now, you push and I'll pull. That's what she said. <laughs> It's nearly there. Good. Try jiggling it. Yeah, try jiggling it. It's nearly there. Jiggle it, Jeff. Jiggle it. Jiggle it, Jeff. 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 Listen, nobody loves live comedy more than me. I've always said the laugh's as good as the rest. Well, strictly speaking, it were a magic show. Well, oh, professional comedians are all well and good, but it's you and the designer. Brilliant. Both of you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Comedy routine. Comedy routine. <laughs> oh, here they are, Paul and Debbie. Yasmin, you're a natural. Isn't she just? Oh, no. He's the one with all the talent. A oh, straight man's no use on his own, is it? We thought you'd blown it for a minute. What a damp squib that would have been. Squid. Big pun? It said squib instead of squid. It is squib. You what? The expression, it's damp squib. Oh, it's squid. It's squib, you bloody fool. Now, who'd like a drink? Apart from Yasmin. <laughs> Everybody's getting mad for it. Hashtag Jiggly Jeff. This is your 15 minutes of fame, Dad. All right, take it down now, son. You've had your fun. Take it down. I can't take it down. It's everywhere. It might lead to some more work. Thanks for all your help, by the way. All those years tatting around the uh, amateur circuit. You can say what you like about social media, but you don't have to suck up to your boss making tea. You just upload one video and boom, you're famous. They're laughing at us. It's all publicity, Dad. It's all publicity. I thought you were supposed to be making it up with Sally. Yeah, I'm just letting her cool off a little bit. You're scared of her. Well, wouldn't you be? These are avoidance tactics. You should be thanking me, you know. I'm like Don King and Sharon Osbourne rolled into one. Look at that. 2,473 likes. Oh, would you like to stay for tea? Uh, no, I should go and see her. I'm probably on a hide into nothing, but I should try. Oh, it's Dal and Sagalu. Dal, eh? Mm. Um, no, probably not. Marriage and all that. Thanks, though. Why did you try and make Tim stay? I was being polite. Well, you were pleading with him. Not at all. You'd have been proud of me this morning. I did five days shopping for 18 pounds and 72 pence. I'll, I'll fish out the receipt. Five days? I said a week. I had one or two things already in. Proud of you today. Everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. Oh, I don't doubt that. There's nothing more amusing than someone else's misery. No, they thought you were marvellous. Half of them thought we were imbeciles, and the other half thought we were doing it on purpose. Oh, Jeff, I know it was all my fault. I'm not stupid. You did it deliberately, didn't you? No. To make me look a fool. I would never do that. Nothing could be further from the truth. This was your revenge. Revenge for what, though? For encouraging you to keep house, for for showing concern about your drinking. Just tell me exactly what I've done wrong. No, no, you did nothing, Jeff. I, I let people down. I let you down constantly. I am so sorry. Well, you let me down this afternoon, that's for sure. Now, we're all over the internet. 
I can't help that. All those years of performing, and this is what I'll be known for. Jiggle it, Jeff. Well, do you remember what Oscar Wilde said? I don't care what Oscar Wilde said. I wish you'd just shut up and listen for once in your life. How would you like it, eh? Where's the camera on this damn thing? There. <laughs> hey, not nice, is it? Being filmed when you don't want to be. Oh, hey, yeah. look at the camera. Smile! No. I'm a professional, Yasmeen. I kept going. Emma wouldn't have got me into that mess. And she'd have looked a sight better in her outfit, too. Don't turn away from me while oh. I'm filming you. <laughs> and she wouldn't have worn it with a fleece, either. Dear, oh, dear, what a state. Would you like this on the internet oh. for everyone to laugh at? Oh. I'm not eating that slop. Yeah. Go out and get some <laughs> chips. <laughs> and don't be all nice about it. This is a nice way to start the day. Poached eggs? I know they're your favourite. Are you trying to be deliberately incendiary? Not at all. You know which buttons to press with me, don't you? I'm sorry. If you must know, a comedy website has picked up my video and I've gone international. I see. Oh, look. A comment from someone in Ahmedabad. What a massive codger. Or are you going to tell me that codger's Indian for hero? D does it really matter what someone that far away thinks? Do you have a city in guilds and insensitivity? Of course not. Then zip it, if you don't mind. I mean, how would you like it if I posted that video of you in a state? And people were like, oh, look at that embarrassing mess. What a sad, sad woman. She looks like a pathetic old trollop, guys. You wouldn't like that, would you? Say the word. No, I wouldn't. Do you wake up in the morning and plan all the ways you can wind me up? Because I tell you what, you must have ticked a few off your list this morning. Do you know something? What? Maybe I will post that video. Right. Well, you're going to be nice to my son, or are you punishing him because he can't stand his father? Hi. <laughs> Tim, we're having poached eggs. I could easily make you some if you want. No, you're all right, Yasmin. I'll get something on the go. OK. See you later. Bye. I haven't finished. I don't say this to be hurtful. But you could do with losing a few pounds. You know what people saying? Oh, here she is. Fat Yaz, thunder thighs, the amazing wonder wobble, denting viaducts with every step. I fancy a fry up at the calf. Proper eggs. See ya. I've been thinking. Because I'm a decent person, I shan't be posting that video of you online. I don't do tit for tat. However, I might need some convincing that you can understand why I was so upset. I swear on my granddaughter's life, I understand. Mm. I'm sorry I messed up and ruined the act. Actually, I've had some inquiries come through online for some more shows. All right, that's encouraging. Mm. And I'm going to give you the chance to redeem yourself. Redeem myself? Yes. In what way? Well, well you'll find out. If you're prepared to put in the hours to rescue my damaged reputation. So I can't stay. When? When I went to get the chips. 
evil Emma who left me in the lurch. That Emma. She was under the impression that you sacked her from the job. I see. I see. Well, no wonder you took so long when you nipped out. Five minutes, she reckons. And you were gone for more like 15. I wasn't gone that long, was I? Get in the box. If you're going to learn how to do the trick properly, get in the box. Well, I, I hope it's better soon. Thank you. Sheriff! It feels like I've been in here an awfully long time, my love. Me, 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 me. I've only been in for a few minutes. Oh, you know how long a few minutes is, don't you? You told me you'd only nipped out for a few minutes. Well, now maybe you'll get some comprehension of what 15 minutes actually feels like. I'm sorry. Enunciate. Please, let me out. I said enunciate. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. I can't understand what you're saying. You know I'm claustrophobic. Hey, Jeff. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hi. How's tricks? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, oh, yeah, good. Oh, good. Uh, very good, in fact. Uh, you, you look a bit lost. Do I? Oh, well, you know me. Bit of a deep thinker. Yeah. Fancy a little uh, pick-me-up pint? Uh, my shout. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah. It won't be able to be too long, though. Yasmin doesn't like being left. Oh, I bet she keeps you waiting sometimes, though. <laughs> I should go, go. <laughs> Payback time. Well, you know, I'm being a bit unfair, really. She's a sweetheart. How is she at the moment? Uh, not bad. Not bad. In fact, she's in a good place right now. Hey, right now, here's some water. I couldn't breathe. I, so I thought I was going to suffocate. I don't understand. St understand what? Why is it stuck in a flaming box? I don't know. What's going on? What have you done? Eh? Why did you leave her locked in a box like that? I didn't leave her locked in a box. Well, somebody must have. Well, I left the catch off. Yeah, then you went out and left her. Well, it must have snapped on or something. Did you find her locked in? Oh, are you OK, darling? Oh, we were mucking about. I thought she was timing herself to see how long she could last in there. She told me to get out from under her feet. Yes, uh, thanks. Thank you anyway, Tim. You can't seriously think I'm the sort of man that would leave his wife locked in a box and beg her off to the pub. Imagine. Well, I did think it was a bit weird. Look, can you give us a bit of time in our own, please? I need to check that Yaz is OK. I'll give her a bit of a once-over. Yeah, yeah, as long as she is OK. I'll nip up to my room, then. Thanks, son. Yeah. Look, mm. Chucky Bickies. You always say I need to lose weight. I've said it once. Thunder thighs, you called me. Now, that's unfair. I said other people might if you put any more on. Really? Come on. I feel bad eating. <laughs> well, we'll have something more healthy later. I don't know. Climbing. Do some star jumps. Flick flat down Rosamond Street. Come on. I know you've had a shot, but they're your favourites. They're your favourites. I can't do anything right, can I? Look, I'm sorry you've had a bit of a fright. It's the last thing I wanted to happen. Come on, how are your biscuits? Hmm, <sighs> good. Just good? They're fine. I know you explained it all away to Tim earlier, but... Yeah. Yeah, I did. But you were lying, weren't you? And... 
knowing what a lovely, kind, thoughtful man you are. I'm asking myself, how? How? Knowing I'm claustrophobic, how could you be so cruel? You know, that song, uh, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. Uh, who sang that? Brian? I'm not sure. Was it Brian Adams? Brian Adams. I should find it on Spotify and play it, because it's true. Everything I do, I do. I do it for you. I hate this. I hate that you'd think this way. Which way? Well, that I deliberately set out to hurt you. Honestly? Sorry? That's not the way I feel right now. Yes, but... Because... That song... It's a love song. Is this what love should really feel like? Love should be joyous, exciting, passionate, the feeling that launched a thousand sayings. So what would ours be? Love is when he locks you in a box and goes to the pub. You know what my mother would tell me right now? God rest her soul, she would say, you run, Yasmin, you run for the hills. I left the catch off. I did not shut the catch. So this was an accident. You expect me to believe that? Sometimes I'm human. I'm human. Sometimes I screw up. Sometimes... 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 Please, let me offer you some mitigating circumstances. I left you, yes, because I was playing a trick on you. I'm a magician. It's in my nature, and I was still riled about the nightmare that was the magic trick. And because of your participation, how I became humiliated on a global scale. But I didn't do that on purpose. What you did was, and it was so calculated. No, it felt calculated. There's a, a difference. No. Jeff. <laughs> she used to say I was a horrible person and she was right. Who? <laughs> Tim's mum. But she wasn't hitting me, of course. I'm sorry I scared you so much. I was so desperate to get the magic trick right, I didn't think. I thought you were joking, saying you couldn't get out. I just assumed. <sighs> You're so much cleverer than me. And empathetic. I'm just pathetic. Please, forgive me. I'm begging you. Jasmine, don't leave me. I'm so sorry. I know. Or maybe now you'll understand that sometimes... Sometimes I'm quite scared of you. Oh, I would never hit you. Hmm? Not only cowards hit women. I'm not a coward. I've... I've never, never fully told you about Tim's mum, have I? No. She scared me. Physically. <laughs> That's real abuse. It leaves scars all over. And here. No, no, Jeff, 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 Jeff. I will don't. not let her win. Don't, don't, don't. I love you so much. I love you too, my darling, but at the end of hold the... Hold me. Oh, hold me. Okay. I've got you, I've got you. And I've got you, haven't I? <laughs> Sleep. 
certainly would appear so. Hey, mm -hmm. what do you call a random piece of bread? I don't know. What do you call a random piece of bread? A non sequitur. Uh, <laughs> boom, boom. And I suppose I've heard worse. Did you hear about the man who ate the parrot curry? Do I need to know this? It was very nice, but it kept repeating on him. Mm -mm, that's terrible! I know. I'll belt up. Mm. Morning! Hiya! Mm. Huh. You okay? I'm well. All the better for seeing you. How have you been? Mm. Spent last week feeling sorry for myself, if I'm honest. About the bistro. Biggest mistake I ever made going to work for him. You weren't to know what he's like. I suppose. Anyway, I've snapped out of it now. And if it's okay with you, I was hoping I could come back here. That would be wonderful. Oh, are you sure? I promise not to throw my weight around. You do own half the business. Oh, well, maybe I could be bossy half the time. <laughs> What's this? Um, Ali's coming back to work here. Really? Isn't that good news? We need an extra pair of hands. Sounds just the ticket. Huh. Got you. So, this one's on the house. Thank you. My pleasure. Which one, Charlotte again? Oh, the, the one that never shuts up. Mm. <laughs> What's the gossip? I was just telling Alia that Charlotte hasn't laid an egg in a fortnight. She's not too old yet, so it's a worry. Yeah. Any chance of a hand? Because you see those two? I had to comp their meals. Why? First, we ran out of paneer. These things happen. And then they were complaining about the bad service. Oh, it's not been that bad. Well, time obviously flies when you two are catching up. No mind, it's done now. Ooh. Oh, Gwen, are you all right? Oh, I tweaked my back when I was moving the sofa this morning. Why were you moving the sofa? <sighs> to vacuum underneath. The dust that gathers there plays havoc with Jeff's allergies. You don't blame me. I told you not to move it on your own. Oh. OK, that's it. Come on, back home. No, it'll pass. It'll pass quicker if you rest. Just right, Gran. You should go home. Fine. I'll get my things. Right, then. Let's try not to lose any more customers today, shall we? Hello. Hi, darling. How was your day? Could have gone better. Oh. There was another complaint about Alia, and I told them to leave her alone. What kind of complaint? Oh, one of the mums at Baby Yoga said she was a bit gruff. I mean, I like Alia, but she does seem stressed at the moment. Well, she's always been good at her job, though. Mm. Should I have a word? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all under control. At least we're busy. Hmm. How's the back? It's much improved. And Charlotte started eating again. Right. Good. <laughs> Yeah, talking of food, I am famished. What time's dinner? Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeff. I haven't started cooking yet. I've been so busy with things. Like what? Well, tidying the garden. The chicken coop needed cleaning. The state of it. That chicken coop is cleaner than this house. Look, look. Look at the dust on that, hmm? I'm sorry. Those pets are treated better than me. They are not pets. They're chickens. For food, they give us eggs. It's important we look after them. And what about looking after me? I'm a human being. I'll clean the shelf immediately. No, I'll do it. You better get dinner started. Come on. Yes. I would have made a proper stew, but I know how hungry you are. There's no meat. I ran out of money. You said I had to stick to the budget. I'm not eating this rubbish. I'll make something else. No, I'll do it. Like I have to do everything else around this place, except look after your precious chickens. Get upstairs. Give me some space. I'll call you when it's ready.
not take it back. Here, Charlotte. Come to Uncle Jeff. Yasmin! Dinner's ready! Smells delicious. Take a seat. Oh. I didn't realise you'd been to the shops and done all this. You should have woken me. Oh, I checked in on you. You were spark out. Thought you needed the rest. I'm so sorry about before. Oh, I should be the one apologising. I shouldn't have got so angry. I was just work stressed. Do you forgive me? Of course. I thought we could have our own hen do tonight. Huh. <laughs> Gravy? Yes, please. Lovely. Tuck in. You go cold. Mm. Mm. How is it? Perfect. And not too dry. Mm. Mm. It's not at all, not at all. Mm. Mm. Perfect. It's so tender. Good. I thought she might be a bit dry, being an older bird. At least she's fed us one last time. I'd like to raise a toast to Charlotte. <coughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Charlotte. Feel better now you've thrown up? No. I genuinely thought you'd be pleased. Why would you think that? I saved us money. I used our own chicken for food instead of buying one pump full of water and chemicals. You should have asked me first. I wanted it to be a surprise. It wasn't fun, you know, killing and plucking. It was ruddy hard work, so you put up a right fight. Please, can we stop talking about this? Right. But if you... I haven't made such a hash of dinner in the first place. None of this would have happened. Right, you can do the washing up. I'm off for a pint, maybe a bag of crisps. Is it isn't it? Unless you're trying to catch a free croissant. Mm -hmm. Mind if I come in? But I'm not decent, madam. I want to see my gran. She's in bed with her back. And I need to take her up her breakfast. I'll see you at work, eh? Who's that? Alia. I told her it was too early for a visit. Said we'd see her at work. What are you doing? The place is filthy. He's still upset after dinner last night. I know she was just a chicken. She wasn't going to live forever. But I was really fond of her. And I ate her. Oh, call me a daft thing. You're not exactly Bear grills, are you? He'd have had that chicken plucked and filleted the moment the eggs stopped coming. It's nature's way. This one, it wasn't nature that killed her, was it? It was you. Hey, 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 I've said I'm sorry. Oh, you have to make your own breakfast. I need to get ready for work. Oh, no, you don't. Mm. Your back's still not right, I can tell. No, my back's fine. No, 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 no. And so is Speed Doll. Alia and I can struggle on together. Come, 
Look at it as my way of saying, I'm sorry about Charlotte Bronte. Mm -hmm. You work so hard, you deserve a day off. Catch up on that box set thing you like so much. Fine. I'm going to get back into bed. I didn't get much sleep. Nightmares. Hey. She's not been in since I left. No, 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 no. If, if she does come in, just tell her she left her phone at home, yeah? yeah thanks. Bye. Bye. Have you lost something? Yeah, never mind that. Where have you been? I went for a walk with Alia. You left your phone. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for upsetting you about the chicken. I thought you'd gone. I thought you'd left me. I just went for a walk. I thought you'd gone because I keep messing up. I'm so sorry. You wouldn't leave me, would you? Of course not. Good. Because I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> yes, Tar. I'm sorry. I overreacted. You did. But it's nice to know you'd care if I left. Of course I would. It's my worst nightmare. Hmm. Maybe we should get away for a bit, just the two of us, hmm? We've just come back from Las Vegas. My mate's got a villa in Cyprus, so we'd only need to cover the flights and spending money. We could borrow a bit from the restaurant. Well, I don't think that would be very fair on Alia. It's her business, too. Mm. I suspect she hates me even more now she knows about the chicken. I didn't tell her. Really? Why not? She wouldn't understand that it was a, a mistake. Let's go to the villa when we've saved up a bit. It'll be nice to have something to look forward to. Hmm? Great idea. Huh. In the meantime, I think we can stretch to a takeaway. My treat. <laughs> love you. I love you too. I can't believe it. Thank you for my tea. It's just what I needed. You can't beat a chippy tea for a treat. And you deserve it after what I did to Charlotte. You need to stop beating yourself up about that. I've said it's forgotten. All right. Well, I suppose I'd better start this washing up. No, 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 I'll do it. It's my turn to look after you. Are you sure? Absolutely, since you got the food. If you insist. What did you say? Alia thinks Ray is behind all those bad reviews. Ray? Do I have to say everything 83 times before it sinks in? Sorry. You want to know what I think? Mm-hmm. You're not going to like it. What? I think Alia's made the whole thing up. I think she's ashamed that so many customers have all these issues with her. That she's projecting everything onto Ray. It's sad, really. I don't think she'd do that. Well, the sun shines out of her backside, as far as you're concerned. No, it's not that. Well, then, shut up. You were going to love my friends, Alice. But only just fine. You don't want to risk putting out again by going back too early. I promise I'll be really careful. I'm going mad, stuck on my own in this house all the time. I suppose I could take the day off. No, 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 don't do that. It, it won't be fair on Alia. <sighs> yeah, true. Hey, talking about you, we've been getting on a lot better recently. I think she's starting to warm to me. Really? Mm. That's great. I think it's partly the two of us being thrust together. You know, with you being off, it's made us have to work together as a team. I see. I think by the end of the week, we'll be like that. Huh. Not that I'm saying that's the reason you shouldn't come in. No, of course not. I, I know that. Still... If it's helping to improve things between you two, 
Well, maybe I should leave it a bit longer. <laughs> Only if you think so. <laughs> but then you'd know for sure your back was better. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, you're... You're right. I hate to think of you feeling lonely, though. Hey, maybe we could do lunch, as they say. Oh, that would be lovely. Maybe we could go into town. <laughs> if you want to blow our weekly budget, yes, great idea. I'm sorry, sorry. I, I've, I wasn't thinking. That's a good job I'm here to do the thinking for you. Mm. Best we just eat here, eh? Yes. I'm sure you can rustle up something wonderful. Now your back's a bit better. Mm. I'll see you later. Bye. But it wasn't even at the pub. Mm. That's delicious. Really? You don't look so surprised. You're a good cook <laughs> when you put your mind to it. Thank you. Just what I needed after the morning I've had. Why? What's happened? We've had more bad reviews. Oh, no. Afraid so. Mm. This one's about Alia being sour faced. It's terrible. Well, I have to say, I can see where they're coming from. Oh. Between you and me, I don't think her heart's in it anymore, and the customers are picking up on it. This way, we're going to lose business. Oh. Hi. Hi, Gran. How do you spell Paneer, Jeff? What? I mean, literally, how do you spell it? Halia? I'll remind you, shall I? You spell it like this, which is incorrect. Oh, I see. It's a spelling lesson, is it? Well, I'm very sorry, miss. For what? For making up bad reviews about me and posting them online. What on earth? You... Alia, please don't be silly. Oh, I'm not being. Look, the same word, the same spelling mistake. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it? A spelling mistake? That's your smoking gun? You see the thing that upsets me the most? That you could think that I would sabotage our own business. Well, you want me out. That's obvious. Not true. I thought you said Ray Crosby sent those bad reviews. And he has a real grudge against you. No, I was wrong about that. But the reviews, they were so detailed. They must have been written by someone who knows the place. Look, I can see you feel persecuted by the reviews, by Ray, and even, it seems, by me. But there is another explanation, a very simple one. The reviews are real. Mm. Maybe you've let these paranoid feelings get to you and they've affected the way you interact with our customers. That's ridiculous. This is all part of his plan to get me out, to make everything look like it's my fault. Look, I'm sure he posted those reviews because he makes the same spelling mistake. I don't. Ray doesn't. He does. You have to decide who you believe. I just want to do my... Job. I don't know who sent those awful reviews, but I can't believe it was Jeff who sent them. Why would he? You've heard him. He thinks of you as part of his family. And the two of you were getting along so well. I don't believe this. You're upset. I am upset. Jeff's upset. But you cannot go around making unfounded accusations. Thank you. He is playing you. Don't say that. You need to work on your spelling. Better make mine unlock. You haven't eaten your biscuits. Not hungry. Oh, that's bad news. I have a lamb neck biryani in the oven. That's all this aggro with Alia. She must really hate me. I'm sure that's not true. I know I rub people up the wrong way, but to accuse me of trying to ruin our own business. Oh. She can be a bit highly strung. Well, it feels like she won't be happy until I'm highly strung up for the nearest lamppost. Don't worry, I shall be having words with her. I'm sorry, I should have thought. This must be terrible for you, stuck in the middle. I can handle it. Why is she so angry? I don't know. Is it her career? She bounces about like a yo-yo from one thing to another. Well, the problem is her frustration is affecting our customers. I'm not sure we can go on like this. 
Anne is an important part of this business. Not if deep down she thinks she's a high flyer being forced to slum it, running a curry house with a gran. Well, I'm quite sure she doesn't think that. No, we can't go on like this. For the sake of the business, I think it's time Alia moved on. Right. Right. What's next? Teach a toddler how to make a samosa. We're getting peanuts from it. No, Alia's thinking long term. One of the mothers has already booked a first birthday party with us. Alia doesn't care about the restaurant long term. It's a daft idea. <sighs> what, are you too scared to say anything? Mm. She can't hear you, Alia. Whatever you say, I'll keep to myself. I know you don't want to upset her, but you can't let her run wild like this. Baby story time is hardly running wild. So I'm the idiot then, am I? No. You let that girl control your life. Of course I don't. I love our Tim. But if he started mouthing off about you, I wouldn't take it. Not for a second, because you, you're my number one. And you are mine. Ali is out to get me. And I need to know that if she forces you to make a choice, I won't be the one left out in the cold. Never. It's, it's just all so difficult to get my head around. But you agree something has to change? Yes, of course it has to. Glad you said that. Because I am meeting a business advisor this morning, getting a spot of advice on where we stand. In what way? With Alia owning half the restaurant. <laughs> Keep up. Right. Things to do. Love you. I love you too. Love you more. <laughs> Afternoon, my love. Hello there. Thought you'd be at the restaurant. Oh, it's baby story time, remember? Yeah. Well, you can handle it. <laughs> That's debatable. Um, maybe we've got it all wrong. Maybe it's just some rival restaurant trying its luck. You're determined to ruin my mood, aren't you? Mm. But I won't let you. <laughs> Rudeness must run in the family. Why? You're not going to ask me how my meeting with the business advisor was? Of course, I'm sorry. I'm... Couldn't have gone better. Sharp as a tacky is. And he reckons we'd be fools if we bought Alia out. That's good to hear, because she, she's not a fan of the idea. You told her then? Yeah, we spoke earlier, and she was very angry. Of course she was. She's been rumbled. I suppose we'll all have to find a way of working in harmony then. That's never going to happen. No. The advisor suggests that we cut our losses, sell up the whole kit and caboodle. But you love the restaurant. Yeah, I love you more. And this business with Alia is killing both of us. Mm. No. He suggests that we wash our hands of the whole place, Alia can run it into the ground while we live it up in Cyprus. Oh, Cyprus. If you can get a real bargain over there, we could buy our own. Well, Why I... not? Picture it. Sun, sea. Cocktails, not alcoholic for you, obviously. <laughs> Some of that nice cheese they have over there. No stress, no toxic family upsetting us. Just you and me. Cyprus. Eight hours of sunshine round about now. Knocks this grey old place into a cocked hat, doesn't it? <laughs> but my life's here. Uh, your life's with me. Our life, it, it can be anywhere in the world, can't it? You're probably thinking you don't deserve a nice life, but you do. You've constantly put everyone first. And I know you're thinking of others right now, but this is the time to put yourself front and centre. You've worked hard all your life. It's time you reaped the rewards. You've earned this. Cyprus. Hm. Look, I know I said... Hello, darling. I'm making your favourite for tea. Nihari. Shepherd's pie is my favourite. Still. Hey, you didn't go to that rip-off butchers down the road, did you? No. And I got just what I needed. Receipt. You have done well. Very well. <laughs> I was... I was wondering, perhaps, if you'd like to, when we've eaten, we 
could go out. Where to? Oh, I don't know. Rovers. Oh, I see. All this favourite tea routine is buttering me up so you can go to the pub. No. That desperate for a drink, are you? Not at all, no. It's just with my back being better now and you said earlier about going for a pint. I thought it'd be nice. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you don't want to go to Cyprus with me. I don't want to go to the Rovers with you. I'll put the kettle on. Do you want one? I don't take all night to think about it. Oh, oh yes, I, I'm sorry. Yes, I, yes. You're the luckiest woman in the world, Abermere's husband, aren't you? Bet that bathroom's like a new pin. I did my best. Of course you did, my sweet. Ta-da! What's all this in here, <laughs> Life. Our life. Mm. Together. Sometimes you have to celebrate the here and now because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. No. <laughs> hey, wash your hands first. You've just had your arm jammed up a you, Ben. Oh, yes. You are singing happy birthday twice over in your head, like I told you, aren't you? Yes, of course, I always do. Good. Thanks for breakfast. My pleasure. Now, get it down your neck while it's hot. Take the weight off. You must be shattered after last night. Last night? There's merchant sailors in a forced tend on less tossing than you, thanks to your granddaughter. No. I, I was just thinking about what you said about moving to Cyprus. Thinking as in considering? I'm just trying to imagine it. Listen, I've got enough imagination for both of us. And just the man to help me paint the picture, the ump himself. May I have this dance, please? <laughs> what about breakfast? Oh, twice around the microwave, it'll be right as night months. Come on. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, life could be one long dance. We could skip this miserable old country and start over in the sun. Villa with a pool, stones throw from the beach, an orangery with actual oranges in it. That would be something. It would. And you can throw open the curtains in the morning and look at the med, not that god-awful cladding across the road. It's what you deserve. Well, I, I... I don't know about that. Hey, I've told you a million times, don't put yourself down. This country is no place for old folk in the winter. You wouldn't need a drink to keep out the cold, that's for sure. It's just the thought of uprooting and leaving everyone. Omelettes and eggshells, my darling. Omelettes and eggshells. <laughs> How would we manage? What, you don't think I've done my sums? I'm not suggesting that. I wish you'd trust me a bit more. I do trust you. I just can't see how we'd live. Property is as cheap as chips in Cyprus. We sell up here, we'll be quids in. We could even afford a housekeeper so you could put your feet up. You really think so? Look, we'll have a longer life and a better life out there. It does sound tempting. Then give in. There's nothing keeping us here. Alia. I know. Me and her don't always see eye to eye, but maybe distance will lend a bit of enchantment. <laughs> it, we could get a place with a guest bedroom and she'll never have to pay for holiday accommodation ever again. She'll thank us. Come on, please, Yasmin, please say yes. All right. <laughs> That's my girl! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right. I'm going to crack straight on with my research while you get this kitchen cleaned up. <laughs> oh, you should have got me up. He's ground you down, and I'm refusing to let that happen for a minute longer. What are you doing? If he takes you abroad with no one to protect you... I do not need protecting. Oh, I think you do. And do you know what? Once you're away from him, you'll see that. Stop. No, please stop. Stop. I just stop. No, stop Graham. it. Look, you'll thank me for this one day. No. What's I'm... this? Off to Cyprus without me? Looks more like you're skipping town.
a good cashmere jumper. Must be planning somewhere nice. Anywhere's nice if it's away from you, you control freak. Norris Cole. Whole YouTube channel's devoted to it. Folding and rolling. Oh, go pack your own bag. Then I could sleep at night. But you've got your feet too far under the table, haven't you? In my marital home, I'd say so, yes. You mean the home that you're planning to sell from under her? We're a partnership. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We discuss things and make our decisions together. No. You decide, and then you guilt trip her into agreeing with you. But she's coming home with me where she won't be taken advantage of. There's one thing your gran hates, and that's being patronised. Don't listen to him. I ask you, Yasmin, who's got your best interests at heart and who's only after your money? Don't you dare call me a gold digger. Think of our plans and dreams. Walks on the beach, an orangery with actual oranges in it. I can take care of you. Yasmin. Look at me. No. No. Of course I don't want to leave you. You know where the door is. Your Young people, it's a victim culture. They're always looking for someone to blame. You've been sounding off. No. I know what you women are like. Not me. I've got too much respect for you. Respect? Don't make me laugh. She thinks I'm a monster. And you've let her. She'll be out there now spreading her poison. I'll be the talk of the wash house. Wait, you're not going after her. You see, who do you rush to protect? Is the monster allowed outside for a breath of fresh air and to think, or must it be caged up here and tormented, prodded with sticks? You're not a monster. Then, with respect, stop treating me like one. Yeah. Hey, where have you been? I've been worried. Walking, thinking. All this time? I've had a lot to think about. Alia was right. I should be the one to leave. No. This marriage is broken. She's a child. She doesn't understand. I'll make her. Don't bother. We're beyond that. She's dead to me. <laughs> me too. Easy to say. I know what you're like. If she can't be happy when I'm happy, if she can't trust me, and I swear I'm telling the truth, I'm finished. You mean that? No, I cut my ties with her. Your own granddaughter? You'd do that? If it means I can keep you, then yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure anymore. What could be better than a sea view? Sounds idyllic. This looks amazing. Most important meal of the day. About Alia. Do we have to have us post-mortem? No, but I thought... That... I thought we'd agreed that she was the past and Cyprus is our future. Absolutely. Disowning her was your idea, remember? I know. If you're having second thoughts, speak now or forever hold your peace. She's got you all wrong. So I have to let her go. Good stuff. <laughs> it's just me, the... And the deep blue sea, then. <laughs> I reckon we'll live to a ripe old age on Catch of the Day and top-notch olive oil. What about your sweet tooth? Oh. I'll get Tim to send chocolate and tea bags. It'd be strange not knowing anyone, then. Mm. Heaven! No one will know our business. We'll be the mysterious Brits. <laughs> It'll be the making of us. Yep. Any blips? we've had along the way have been caused by other people meddling. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's all ahead of us, Yaz. Ours for the taking. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, very good. Morals. I'm sorry about that. Why'd you put the chain on? 
Oh, you can't be too careful, can you? Mm. Oh, someone's been a busy little bee. I've finished all the cleaning. Oh, it's amazing. So do you. Thanks. So, there's a couple of properties to look at on the website, both within our price range. Our own little place in the sun. Just the two of us. You looking forward to it? I can't wait. Well, tell your face, will you? <laughs> it's this, isn't it? I thought we deserved a treat, and I've budgeted for it, so stop worrying. Come here. I love you, OK? Thank you for everything you do for me. And I meant what I said. You look gorgeous. You should go to the estate agents more often. <laughs> hey, is it all right if I have a quick bath before we eat? I'll put it in the oven to keep it warm. Oh, yes, I I'll run you a bath. No, 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 you've done enough. You sit down and put your feet up, you hear me? Tonight is all about you. Oh, sorry, I didn't get the chance. It's OK. I just didn't want it messing up the spare room. Hmm. So, either of those tickle your fancy? Either of what? The estate agent specs on the website. The one with Paphos is very interesting. Oh, I, I, I haven't had a look at them yet. Well, what were you doing on the laptop? Nothing. You must have been doing something. Well, I'll see for myself then, shall I? No. No, I just... I just don't want you to get angry. Why would I get angry? Do you know a, a woman called Jocelyn Walkie? I knew Jocelyn, yes. Why? Because I know you were charged after having some kind of fight with her. I'd like to know what happened. Really? Well, I'd like to know who you've been talking to. X. We were in the pub one night. I knew she had a temper, but I didn't know her that bad. She lost it and attacked me. Why did they arrest you? Because the landlady called the police. She blamed both of us for kicking off in our pub, even though I was just trying to defend myself. Charges were dropped, by the way. So she attacked you? Well, you don't believe me. Go to the police station. Check my record. Find out for yourself. In fact, we'll go now. Come on. No, it's OK. I can't believe you dredged this up. It was five years ago. I'm sorry. One of the worst moments in my life. I had to ask. Why? Be because you think it might have been me that attacked her. Have I ever raised my hand to you? No, I know you wouldn't. This was Alia, wasn't it? Look at me. She was here, wasn't she? You lied to me. You promised you wouldn't have anything to do with her. She was making a thing. And this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry. You did this. Everyone who knows me will tell you what an easy-going fella I am. I know. I, I know. I'm hard to live with, eh? Hard? Impossible, more like. I try to protect you, give you a good life, and all you do is make a mockery of our marriage by going behind my back, criticising me to anyone who's stupid enough to listen to you. Well, I'll make it up to you. What are you doing? Uh, it's... it's OK. It's... 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 Uh, Hardly touch the carpet. You're not going to eat it. You, you, you spent good money. I don't want to wa waste it. It's been on the floor. It's, 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 oh, it's fine, honestly. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't look at you. <laughs> you made me sick. going out? Nothing gets past you, does it? Where are you going? That is going to stain. Don't go. OK. 
Please stay. Tell me about this place in Papos. You'd be lucky if I go to Stockport with you. Never mind Cyprus. I'm sorry. I had to ask. I knew it wouldn't be your fault, but when Alia showed me the article... I've told I... you the charges were dropped. But that's not enough for you and Alia, is it? Oh, yes. I believe you. And I... I will not let Alia into the house again. Who are you calling? Don't wait up. Jeff! Hello? It's only money. Talking of which, do I pay you now or later? There's plenty of time for that. You just sit back and enjoy the ride. Where have you been? Walking. Thinking. And it didn't occur to you that I'd be worried sick? Nope. Not after yesterday. In fact, I thought you might actually be relieved if I never came back. No, don't say that. You're my husband, my other half. How can I be? You don't trust me. Of course I trust you. Words are cheap. Oh. And they're all I have. So you'll have to believe me when I say I love you and I trust you. Everything I do. I do for you every plan I make. I do it to make you happy. I know. Do you? Because you're behaving like you don't want to go to Cyprus, don't want us to start this new life together. <sighs> yeah, I thought so. Jeff, I really don't feel like coming in today. I've got terrible stomach cramps. So don't. We'll go to the pharmacy and then back off home to bed. Well, I've got this covered. Go on. Too clever. Is her back playing up again? Yeah, she's got a dicky tummy and all. Well, it's little wonder with all the stress she's been under. You know, until we get our situation here resolved, I'm not certain her health will improve. Right, well, what do you suggest, Jeff? I'm guessing you've got a plan. We're going to draw up a new work rota so that none of us have to work the same shifts together. What? Is that really necessary? We both think it's best. So, since Yasmin is laid up today, I'll do the lunchtime shift. You can cover this evening. Yeah, right, fine. Really a piece of work, Jeff, do you know that? No, I can't do... Fine, how much extra? How much? Not so much for a loyalty discount. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. No. Tell her I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. Well, you're not going to do that down here now, are you? You said the place was filthy. Yes, I know that, but I'll not be able to hear myself think, let alone work. Well, I'll do it later. No, 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 you're here now. Anyway, I need to go out. Oh. Oh? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, am I not allowed a life of my own anymore? Of course. It's just that I, I, I thought you said you were going to be around this morning. Plans change. I didn't realise I had to get your approval for every movement. Perhaps you'd like me to punch in and out. I merely meant that I'd made myself a doctor's appointment. What for? My stomach cramps. Well, when is it? It's about 20 minutes. I was hoping you could come with me. What? I can't just drop everything at a moment's notice because you've made a, a doctor's appointment on a whim. Okay, I'm sorry. It was stupid of me. I can go by myself. Please don't do that. What? Make out you're so long-suffering. Maybe at least I can, I can walk you over there. We'll have to head off early, mind. Are you sure? You don't need to. I know I don't need to, but I want to. It's next time. Give me a bit more notice. Well, go on then. Go and get your coat. Can I help you? I've not come here to fight. Well, unless you've come here to apologise, I haven't anything to say to you. I just wanted to see if you were okay. Why wouldn't I be? Eileen said that she saw you going into the doctor's this morning. Oh, did she? Well, the next time I go for a checkup, I'll make sure to hang out some banners so the whole street knows. A checkup? Mm. That's all it was. Yes. 
Now, if there's nothing else, I'm rather busy. Well, actually, there is. I've got news for you. Really good news. Well, don't tell me. You're pregnant. Seriously. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Zidane, call me Elliot. He's getting married, and he really wants us to be there. Oh. Yeah. Well, that, that's wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, terrific. Congratulations. Typical Zidane. It's really short notice. It's next week in Alicante, the old town. What? Spain? Oh, I'm sorry, love. That's going to be tricky. I mean, not just the money side of it, but what about this place? We can't just swan <laughs> off abroad and leave it to run itself. Well, that's all right. You won't have to. You see, it's immediate family only. Just me and my gran are invited, so you can stay here and hold the fort. I see. Anyway, we've got to go, but I'll talk to you later about all the details. You better think about picking an outfit. Hmm. And don't worry, mate. I'm sure they'll bring you back one of them donkeys wearing a sombrero for a present. <laughs> Come in. Hiya. I got your message. You said you wanted to talk to us about something. I did. Sit down, sit down. Twice in one day. You're spoiling us. So what did you want to talk about? About Sudan's wedding. Ah, I thought it might be. <laughs> but look, if it's the cost you're worried about, I can lend you the money for the flights and the hotel and you can pay me back later. She'll even give you mate traits. I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh, uh, what? So you're saying she can't come? No, I'm just saying we don't need your money, thanks all the same. Um, just been going through the accounts and we're doing better than we thought. That's why I wanted to see you. So you can come? Yeah, I've just booked us a five-star hotel. Uh, hold on. You're coming as well. Yeah, I've managed to get someone in to cover at the restaurant. I, I thought I explained it's close family only. I'm her husband. How much closer can you get? Anyway, I'm sure Zidane won't mind, will he, sweetheart? Of course not. There you go, then. It's all sorted. Spain, here we come. Have been Morning. How are we today? This bright and breezy Monday. Mm. I thought I'd go and check out that new supplier we talked about. I've just come in for the paperwork. It's a good idea. Oh, and I meant to ask, which hotel have you booked into for the wedding? Might be nice if I stayed in the same one. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. You could try, but they told me I got the last room. Really? Oh. Well, might still be worth a try. What was it called? Oh, uh... Sorry, the name escapes me now. It was the best in the area, you said. Oh, yes. Five-star luxury spa. Wow. <laughs> Not cheap, either. I don't know what your budget is. All right, well, maybe when you remember, you could tell me. Yeah, cool. Well, you could otherwise, get somewhere nearby. Yeah. Right. See you later. Bye, darling. Bye, Alia. Don't think she was cross with me. Cross with you? Why? For booking us into that hotel. No. We're disappointed she couldn't stay there, maybe. I just thought you deserved a treat after everything you've been through lately. It sounds lovely. I just hope it doesn't cause more arguments, me being there. I don't see any reason it should. Would you like me to have a word with her? Well, don't you think that'd irritate her? With my diplomatic skills? But you get what I'm saying, though. I mean, I do feel like an outsider sometimes, spectre at the feast and, you know... Well, if we're all on our best behaviour, there shouldn't be any problems. But, look, if the worst comes to the worst, well, we don't even have to go, I suppose. You're the boss. They're all over here till they get the contract. That's when the cracks start to show. Well, what cracks are these? Alia's not sure about the new supplier. Why? What's wrong with them? I didn't say there was anything wrong. Because if they're rubbish, we should forget it. I didn't say they were rubbish, either. No, your idea, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know. Well, I don't see the problem with the ones we've got already, if I'm honest. Can you actually just listen for one minute? Sorry. I'm all ears. All I said was, you never really know what people are like until you get to know them. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, may I suggest that we give them a try without letting go of our existing suppliers. See how it goes for a couple of months and then decide whether to switch or not. That's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> whether or not there'd be agreement to a suggestion from me. Oh, no, I think it's an excellent idea. And as we're going to a wedding soon, may I also suggest that we play nicely with each other? Um, I include myself in that. I'm very happy with that. Me too. Promise. 
Good. So uh, let's leave it to Alia then. Fine with me. I'm still not convinced Alia wants me at the wedding. Let's not start that again. Better we sort it now than traipse all the way to Spain and have her spoil everything. That won't happen. I don't think you realise the stress I'm under, fretting about this, because Zidane will blame me if it all kicks off, not his sister. I'll be public enemy number one. Oh, no. I'm sure that won't happen as long as we all behave like adults. <laughs> Jeff? Uh. Are you OK? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just get a glass of water. Where's, where's the pain? <laughs> All across here, all across here. I'm calling an ambulance. No, 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 no. It's stress. It'll pass. I'm not taking any chances. No, no, no. Yes, ambulance, please. I think my husband's having a heart attack. But I'm not. OK, it... let's get you to the hospital so they can have a proper look at you. Six Coronation Street. Uh... It's nothing serious. Well, it doesn't look like you've had a heart attack. Thank God for that. What did I tell you? Everything else looks normal. He, he has got a heart condition. Then maybe we should take you in for some tests. Look, I, I, I don't think that's necessary. Well, I think it is, and so does he. No, I'm feeling better already, and if you say you can find nothing wrong... Well, no. It'll be a waste of hospital time. And what if they say I can't fly for a week or two as a precaution? I'd miss the wedding. Her grandson's getting married in Spain. Look, with any potential cardiac complaint, we would strongly advise a hospital visit. But having said that, we can't force you to come in. Look, I promise. I'll stay by Yasmin's side, uh, and if I'm in any doubt, she can drive me in. How's that? OK, if you're happy. Hey, I work in hospital radio, by the way. I thought I recognised the voice. Jeff Metcalf. Tell me your names and I'll give you a dedication, if you like. Yeah, I'm Clark. Sandy. Yeah. Slip me a tenner and I'll make out you save my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come on, isn't it? Yeah, I'm blaming him. Man. Hey, what's going on now? He's done something to her. Have yeah, you heard? Is it my gran? No, it's Jeff. I just got a message from Yasmin. Jeff, it's my heart scare. Is he all right? Oh, he's OK now. He was in a state. I thought he was having a heart attack. Oh, thank you for everything. Yeah, keep an eye on him. Oh, I will, don't you worry. Well, like I said, he should really come in, but if he doesn't want to, it's up to him. Yes. Well, why isn't he going in? All right, I'm fine. We had a bit of a panic. A bit? Yeah, but it passed. Convenient. What? Nothing. Um, you go and sit down. Yes, Mum. <laughs> and you come here. Are you okay? Yes, I, I'm. I'm okay. It's Jeff who had the problem. Right. In that case, I need to get back. I was just rushing to Devs for a few bits. I'll talk to you later. Weird. Mm. Suspected heart attack, but won't go get it checked out. What's going on there? Seem to be. Seem to be. They'd have taken me in if they'd any doubts. We don't sound so sure. Nor am I. Maybe you should have gone in and let them look over you. I've got Yasmin to look after me. Oh, I'm sure if I take it easy in the next day or two, I'll probably be fine to go to Spain. Is that a good idea? I'll lose all my money if I cancel. I pay for it all up front online. Anyway, Yasmin's counting on me now. They're not good reasons to go. You don't want to miss your grandson's big day. No, but some things are more important. Maybe Yasmin could go on her own and you could stay with us. I am not leaving him in this condition. We're just going round in circles here. All right, then I'll put a stop to it. You're in no fit condition to go. You need me here. We cancel the trip. Well, this is crazy talk. It's common sense, and we're doing it. Yeah, one coffee to take. Hey, it's OK, I'm here. Well, I didn't know. I thought I had the door go earlier. Well, I just popped out to speed dial to get some food. Well, what if I'd had a relapse? Well, it's OK. Sally was here. Oh. she gone? Uh, yes, it's, it's just us now. I feel dreadful about you missing Zidane's wedding. Well, it's not your fault. You're ill. Yeah, I suppose so. But thank you for being so understanding. You're my priority. Hatton Garden. That would help. Hi, Jeff. Is my gran in? No, sorry, look, she just popped out. I'll tell you a call, though. No, it's all right. I'll wait. 
What do you think you're doing? I'm having my tea. What hotel did you book for Z's wedding? Can't remember. But it was a five-star luxury one, wasn't it? Yeah, I was trying to spoil your ground. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, I've had a look online and there's only one five-star luxury hotel, the Palazzo Alhambra. Well, that'll be the one then. Yeah, that's it. I remember now. You sure? Yes. Why are you so bothered? Well, I've just rung them and they've no record of a booking under your name. That's because it's cancelled. Yeah, they've got a cancellations list as well. You're not on it. You never booked a hotel because you had no intention of going to Z's wedding. What are you talking about? And you faked your illness. To stop my gran from going as well. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I start wondering if you've lied about the hotel and you've lied about being ill, what else have you lied about? Right, I've had enough of this. Coming round here, making stuff up, trying to make me look bad. Well, there's one thing that's not made up. The police report on you. What? I've been in contact with the police under Claire's law. You can lie as much as you want, but the truth will always come out. How dare you come digging around in my past? You really are a nasty little cow, aren't you? You've hated me since day one, always had it in for me, always bad-mouthing me. Well, I've had it up to here with you, I'm warning you. You keep your nose out of my business, or else I really will lose my temper, and then you'll regret it! Jeff, get away from my granddaughter! No! What on earth is happening here? I'll tell you what's happening. Your granddaughter is coming around here slinging all sorts of mud at me. I'm only telling the truth. It's all lies and I'm not having it. No, he's the one that's lying. No, I'm sorry, I can't cope with all this hassle. It's not good for my heart. He's not even ill. You see what I have to put up with? It's incessant. It's bullying. And he never booked a hotel for Z's wedding. Is that true? No, of course it isn't. Check his emails. There won't be anything on there about a hotel. No, I don't have to take this from you. Yasmin and I are married. She's my wife. You have to stop interfering. Stop trying to split us no, off. No, that's enough. Alia, please go home. I have to talk to Jeff. I'm not going anywhere. I've seen his nasty street today. You're not safe. No, I'm the one who's not safe from your mad family. Alia, please. You're not helping the situation. I'm trying to help you. I don't need help. Jeff is right. He is my husband. I would like to speak to him in private. OK, fine. But I'm coming back later and I'm going to check on you. Yeah, what about you tell me the truth? I am. So you're not lying about being ill? How can you even ask me that? I have to, after what Alia said. So you're taking her word over mine? No, it's not like that. But we've been through all this. You promised to put me first, remember? I cannot dismiss what she tells me. She's my granddaughter. And I'm supposed to be your husband. Jeff, please, be reasonable about this, hmm? Reasonable? You want reasonable. Well, I can be reasonable. Come on, let's go and see Dr Gaddis. She can sort this. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go over to the medical centre right now. Come on, get your coat. Do you need to make an appointment? No, 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 I'll barge in. Just tell Dr Gaddis that my wife thinks I'm making everything up. The breathing problems that you cause, the heart, the dizzy spells. OK, OK, I believe you, I but believe... Do you think this is helping? All this anxiety is going to finish me off, I'm telling you. And you'll have that on your conscience. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Then you need to talk to Alia. Whether she likes it or not, we're married, so I am part of this family. That's if you still want me to be. Of course I do. Cos I can walk away if you want. You know, I think, in fact, that might be better for everyone. If we call it a day, it's not worth the aggro. Please don't say that. I'll talk to Alia. Good. So are we OK? I don't know. Maybe. But only if you trust me. I do trust you. I promise. I'd never lie to you. Yes. Oh. 
over on your bath. Thanks, love. Hope it's not scorching like you normally do it. No, I've tested it. It's just perfect. Good. Then I shall go and try to soak my stress away. And please don't worry about Alia. I have spoken to her. Good. It's about time. I know. I know. I'm sorry things got out of hand. She just needs to be careful. You know, she'll get herself into trouble going around slandering people. Hmm. You know, I could sue her for what she said, you know. You won't, will you? Of course not. She's family. Thank you. I, I don't want there to be any bad blood. No. Ooh. Can I take the paper with me? Oh. You okay? Yeah. Hey, but when you finish the kitchen, maybe you can come and join me. I'll let you screw me back if you like. <gasps> okay. Glad things are back to normal. Me too. I love you, you know. I do. What do you think you're doing? You're spying on me. I'm sorry. Stay there. How did you break into my computer? I did not. I don't remember giving you the password. Oh. But I do remember you peering over my shoulder when we were looking at the wedding venue. Was that it? Why do you have so many emails from an escort agency? You've arranged a meeting with Rachel. Do you listen when I talk to you? Of course I do. Do you not remember me telling you I was doing some research for my radio show on modern dating? There are lots of emails. I'm a very thorough man. Well, I thought you'd know that by now. See, the thing is, Yasmin, there's this accusatory, holier-than-thou tone in your voice. I can't begin to imagine the dirty little fantasies that are going on in that brain of yours. What do you mean? Sleazy Jeff, paying for escorts. Maybe when you hear the word escort, you think prostitute. 
Am I getting close? Is that what you think? Frankly, I don't know what to think. It's a dating agency. Research for my radio show. Escorts aren't dates. You're calling me a liar? No. Did you read all my emails? Of course not. Then you're not an expert, so you don't know the whole story. Do you want me to go off with other women? Is that what you want? No, of course not. Well, then I don't understand. I can only think that this nasty, suspicious behaviour is exactly the kind of thing that would drive a man to cheat on his wife. I mean, did you give Sharif such a hard time? I, I thought we were different. I thought you trusted me. I do trust you. Liar. No. If you trusted me, you wouldn't have deliberately gone behind my back to sneak a peek at my password and then waited until I was in the shower to rummage through my inbox. Go on, read all my emails. Help yourself. Fill your boots. Sorry. You what? I said I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm not upset. Well, is there anything else you want to look at? Bank balances, recent purchases, browsing history? I think it's time I change my password. Trying to think of something memorable that your snooping wife can't guess. Can I ask you something? Well, can I stop you? I looked at your laptop because I was upset that Alia accused you of not booking the hotel in Spain. I was hoping to find proof that you did book it. Did you book it? Yes. There's nothing on your laptop. Well, there are other ways of booking hotels. But you said you booked it online. You said you'd already paid for it, that you'd lose money by not... Going. So you did go through everything on my laptop? Every file, every email? No, 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 not everything. No, so there you go again, jumping to conclusions with your overactive imagination. So there is a booking confirmation on your laptop? Still don't trust me. If one exists, I would like to see it. Jeff, I just want to know the truth. OK. I lied. You lied? I lied. Satisfied now? You've caught me out. Well done, Sherlock Holmes. Your husband is a liar. Only me! The flipping hotel in Spain is so important. I was trying to do something nice. The hotel is not important. What's important is you lied to me. I, not just you. I lied to everyone. Tim, Sally, Alia. Why? I wanted to be the big man. Spontaneous, generous. I was bragging. I wanted to book the biggest and the best five-star hotel going. I was making a grand gesture for you. But you must have known you'd get caught out when we arrived at the wedding and there was no hotel. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Did you never intend us to go? Was that part of the plan? Look, I was daft. I'm sorry. I was trying to impress you with my... Generosity. But the truth is, you are not being generous. You're blowing this out of all proportion. Who doesn't exaggerate sometimes to make themselves appear just a little bit better? You lied and you lied and you lied. No, one lie to prove how much I love you. What are you going to do? I'm going to Spain. Right, well, I'll come with you. We can put all this nonsense behind. I don't think so. Alio was right. And I think some time apart might do us good. No, 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 you're wrong. We need to be together. I'm not letting you go on your own. I'm not asking your permission. I'm going to my grandson's wedding, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. I'm going to pack. It was amazing. Don't leave me on my own. What if I have a relapse? I'm not entirely sure you're as poorly as you make out. You've become very cynical. And whose fault is that? I thought Alia was lying, and all the time she was right. 
Well, maybe you'd like to see my medical records. Maybe then you'll believe I'm not well. Do you have your medical records to hand? No, of course I don't. In that case, it'll have to wait till I get back. If you get back and I'm dead on the floor, it'll be your fault. Is that what you want? Well, Sally and Tim live next door. You can stay with them if you're worried. Do you care about me at all? Now is not a good time to ask me that question. Of course I care about you. Then don't go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You won't come back. I will. This is my home. I thought it was our home. It is our home. You want me out. Did I say that? You said I could move in with Tim. I said if you were worried. I won't let you no, go. I no, won't let you go. Jeff, you can't please, go. I won't stop let you... that. I will be away for a few days. Then we can have a proper talk. I'm going to spend some time with my family. And I promise you I will be back. Stop me leaving. I can't let you go. You can't leave me. I'm not leaving you. I am going to my grandson's wedding. But if you go on like this, like I... Like what? You're scaring me, Jeff. I don't like it. You're not really going to leave me on my own when I'm ill, are you? You'll be fine. And I will be back in a few days. Let me take one of them. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're going to drop one and get scolding out. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. Where have you been? Did you get my messages? Yes, I did. I came home as soon as I saw them. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad you're OK. Yes, I am now. I've got you back. I'm nothing without you. Oh. You know that, don't you? So where did you... Where did you go? I was about to call the police. I don't want to talk about it. It's it's over. Let's just put it behind us. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you, you shouldn't keep thoughts like that bottled up. Honestly, love, I, I'm fine now. <laughs> You're all I need. Ah. Oh. What happened? <sighs> I just nicked it on that damn photo. <laughs> Just a scratch. I'll make us a brew, shall I? <sighs> You're not watching this. I'm sorry, my mind keeps wandering. Well, we've both had a stressful day. <laughs> I think we should get an early night tonight. Yep. And I'm... I think I'll take the spare room. Why? Uh, a lot's happened today, and although I'm glad you're home and safe... Those emails... I told you about that, you got that. It's just a dating site, I swear. Even so, uh, I'd like some space. Just one night? Sure. OK. I guess tea. Chippy? Lovely, yeah. Back in ten. Oh. 
Carlo, I'd like to speak to someone about accessing information under Claire's law, please. Thank you. Because they look too good. Yes, me? Oh, I thought you were out. Where did you get off to? I needed some things. I, um... I wanted to talk about yesterday. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I should be the one apologising. That email you saw... Research for your, for your dating show? No, well, yes. You were right. It was from an escort. We... You denied it. Well, you know, I thought it was just another dating site, you know, for the show. But I made a mistake. I don't know, I, I got confused. Half of me thought they were trying to pose as something legit to lure people in, but as soon as I realised my mistake, I made my excuses. Well, why didn't you admit it to me? Well, I was embarrassed. I was humiliated to think that my wife would know what an out-of-touch old fool I was. I'd rather think of you as a fool than a liar. Or something worse. I know. Please, can we move past it all? I'll make us some lunch. Oh, love, no, I... I haven't done the chickens. Maybe you should feed them first. OK. She does appear to be anemic. Because she's... I'm wiped out. Mm, off you go. I'll take care of this. something um no because it seems you're missing something it oh it's my handkerchief here it is here it is so you haven't lost anything no you sure you can tell me i haven't lost anything didn't think you had <laughs> don't think i'll bother with that nap i fancy a pint I've misplaced my keys, so I'll have to take yours if that's okay. Oh, yes, of course. Means you won't be able to go out till I get back. It's fine. Good. Did you buy us a dog? Mm, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry I took so long. I was about to send out a search party. I know, Freshco's didn't have that ham with the breadcrumbs you prefer, so I had to go to the posh deli. See? Four pounds sixty? Uh, Never mind chuffing breadcrumbs. It should be gold-plated at that price. I know it's a little dearer, but I felt like spoiling you. In that case, all is forgiven. Uh -huh. Want a cuppa? Uh, not at the moment, thanks, no. So... What do you feel like doing today, oh love of my life? Anything you like. Well, that's not what I asked. What do you want to do? I'm not really fussed. Come on, you can do better than that. Let your imagination run free. The world is your oyster. Well, I... I, I haven't been to the cinema for ages. Good, OK, now we're getting somewhere. I'll have a look what's on. Come to think of it, there's that film uh, with the... Uh, you know, what, what's her name? What's her name? Yes. Well, I um, don't know. I don't know. Well, actually, I'm not really in the mood for going out, but please don't let that stop you. How do you mean? I mean, if you want to go to the pictures on your lonesome, that's absolutely fine by me. Don't be silly. I'm serious. 
I don't want to go by myself. That, that's that's not fun. Are you sure? Because I'm giving you a free pass here. Sure. Because the alternative is being trapped indoors with me all day. Oh, no, I'd hardly use the word trapped. Well, lumbered then. Or lumbered either. Oh, my mistake. Hmm. I'm glad you'd rather stay in with me. There is nowhere I'd rather be. Good, because, you know, ask me, I think all that me time malarkey is overrated. I couldn't agree more. Hey, why don't we have our own little film festival right here? I'll go and get some popcorn and snacks later. That sounds great. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I'll have that cup of now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it sounds to me like... Dev has just completely humiliated me. He's just gone off on one. I mean, <laughs> boss or no boss, if he thinks he can speak to me like that, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> Is this not a good time? It's not the best. Oh, sorry, you should have said. You didn't give me a chance. Oh, afternoon. I didn't know we were having company. It's all right, I'm just leaving. I'm obviously interrupting something. Are you? That's news to me. I was just about to tell Cathy we had plans to spend the day together. Well, and you were going to send her packing? It's no big deal. I just needed to vent about Dev. And vent you shall. Stick the kettle on, love. Earth to Yasmeen. Oh. You sure this is OK? Don't want to get in the way. Don't be daft. Between you and me. I don't know what's going into her today. I know Dev is stressed, but that does not justify how he spoke to me. Absolutely not. By the way, the sham is delicious. Mm. I think so. Personally, I'm a bit underwhelmed. Yeah, I just feel like he doesn't appreciate me. I'm sure that's not true. Sounds like a breakdown in communications is all. Yes, he doesn't listen enough. Well, he wouldn't be the first fella to be afflicted by selective hearing syndrome, would it? Is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> In that case, my brine must be absolutely riddled. Ah, ask me. If more men kept their gobs shut and their ears open, the world would be a happier place. I'm sure Yasmin could testify to that. I think that's your cue to dish the dirt. There isn't any dirt to dish. Really? No, oh, no, love, come on, don't spare the horses. I'm a big boy, I can take it. But if anyone's a problem in this relationship, it's me. Women always like to paint men as the villain of the piece, but they can be poor communicators as well. Yeah. It's not always a man's responsibility to be open and honest. That's agreed. Did we get the idea, love? Women think of themselves as perfect, but they are not. Well, excuse me, I never once suggested that I was. <laughs> well, if you've got something to say, go on, say it. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, obviously it does. Well, uh, shall we change the subject? No. no. No, Jeff, no. She's been off with me ever since I got here. Please, share your pearls of wisdom. OK. Mm. You really want to know what I think? Yeah. Well, I think you find it easier to blame others rather than address your own shortcomings. I see. Well, uh, on that note... No, Cathy, please. What? You know, uh, in the spirit of openness and honesty, you've changed, Yasmin. And not for the better. You can see yourself out. What the heck's gotten into you? You're right. The scene is what you did. I thought you'd be pleased. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, she always gets on your nerves. You've said that more than once. So now you're blaming your bizarre behaviour on me. You said you wanted us to spend the day together and Cathy intruded on that. All right, let me get this straight. You gave Cathy both barrels because you wanted us to spend some quality time. I suppose. And the fact that you may have lost a friend doesn't bother you at all? If she was a proper friend, she wouldn't have reacted like that in the first place. Besides, I don't need her sort of negativity in my life. Then what do you need in your life? You. Just you. I enjoyed that. What would you like to watch next? Nothing. How about a game of Scrabble? Actually, I've got a better idea. Why don't we hit the hay? Hmm? 
not tonight, Jeff. I'm not feeling that great. All the more reason to visit the love doctor. No, oh, I'm serious. Yeah, so am I, Yasmin. I feel like we reconnected today. Don't ruin it now. Let's make it the perfect ending to the perfect day. Hmm? Jeffrey's favourite girl. Me? Oh, my little puppy dog. You're still not feeling well, eh? The surgery just called, actually. I'm seeing Dr Gadas today for my test results. Then you must go in. Now. This instant. Oh, I think I'd better stick to the appointment. No, I just want you well. Demand antibiotics. Back in the day, they handed them out like penny chews, but now, blood out of a stone. Well, it's a good reason, no doubt. Their efficacy will be affected, you well, see. Well, fortunately for you, I am fighting fit today. I shall venture into speed dial, and I shall be your knight in shining coma. Hey, see what I did there? I wonder if it's a water infection. Water infection? Uh, yes, uh, you know, cystitis. Well, I just think you're stressed. Get yourself into Gertie Gaddis, and then get back here, get on that couch and rest. Thank you. Badass the badass. One kicker out of bed. Joke. Hey, um, you'll come straight back after your appointment, eh? None of this standing around on street corners like a common fishwife doling out the gossip. Hey, Cathy, you never guess what? Have stopwatch. We'll use it. Hmm? Cathy, I'm... Hey, Yasmin. Uh, are you okay? Oh, yes. Hey, listen, um, if you're struggling. Struggling? I'm going to a meeting. You can come with me. Meeting? <laughs> at the Weatherfield Recovery Centre. Oh. And it's a really good one. <laughs> and I don't think you've been there. Oh, I could. I'd kill for a drink right now. <laughs> That's not the answer, though, is it? Peter, yeah. I don't need to come to a meeting with you. I'm not drunk. But you're very kind, thank you. OK, well, if you need me, I am always here. Always. How did it go at the doctors? What did she say? Is everything OK? What's Peter said to you? Is he upset you? Yaz? Yaz! How could you even think that? Think what? That I could possibly be sleeping with someone else. When do I have the time to sleep with anyone else? But you've got the inclination. Thanks. I barely even leave the house. If I'm not cleaning and following one of your cleaning schedules, I'm at work. Well, I don't know, do I? Hmm. Coffee cream? I love coffee cream. Will you stop giving your dirty looks, please? If you haven't got a fancy man, fine. Must have been shifty Sharif. Sharif and I split up years ago. Well. He was unfaithful, I seem to recall, putting it about all over the shop, by all accounts. Shame you never invested in a femidom. If he had infected me, I would have known long before now. Mm, you must have been rotten for years. Thanks. Poor. Oh. Yeah. Preline. And you want to know the worst thing? Muggins here is going to have to be checked out as well. Brilliant! Thank you so much for the beautiful little gift of herpes. It's not herpes. Oh, I'm not an expert on STIs, am I? A thousand apologies. Now, will you please go upstairs and do some cleaning or something? I can't even look at you. And don't overspray the bathroom cleaner. Talk about trigger happy.
Look at the state of this place. I bet you've been sat on your fleshy tabernacles, chatting to blokes online, gagging for it, Weatherfield. That's not true. Guess where I've been? To a private clap clinic. I'm 160 quid down. My health advisor was called Mahmood. Handsome chappy, very smooth skin. You'd have loved him. What did he say? That I'm living with a goer, basically. He didn't. <laughs> no, he wouldn't dare. But you could tell that's what he's thinking, because guess what? I'm Team Chlamydia too. Oh, let me catch those tears in an egg cup and, and drink them to see what guilty tastes like. I phoned Sonia. Well, the 80s pop star. Sharif's partner. She told me that when Sharif walked out on her, she got herself tested as part of some health insurance scheme. She was clean. And in plain English? The infection didn't come from me. Oh, it's very interesting, isn't it? That you'll believe your dirty, cheating ex is bit on the side over me. She was the last person I wanted to speak to. Trust me. Trust you? Really? <laughs> I think trust's gone out the window, don't you, love? Have you any idea how undignified I felt sitting in a clinic full of harlots and sex workers? And then you accuse me of bringing that disease into our bed. Well, what am I, am I supposed to think? Oh, the tone of your voice is like my gloves on a blackboard. But of course, if it didn't come from Sharif, there has to be another explanation. <sighs> Did it never cross your mind that Sonia might be a lying little turd. I don't know how I get through the day sometimes. I mean, what else are you going to bring to my door? What are you going to give me next? AIDS? Thanks, Yaz. Thanks a lot. Well, I, I haven't slept with anyone else. This has really shocked me. No, I, I feel violated. How do you think I feel? I don't enjoy being an ogre, you know. So let's drop all this worrying about where it came from. I forgive you. There. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, at the end of the day, we both have to have this treatment. I do ribs for lunch. Get some flesh stuck between my teeth. Fancy some? I'm not hungry. I feel sick. Oh, well. All the more for me. I'll see what we've got in. An ingredients for my marinade, and then I fancy a trip to the butchers. Right, so come on. Place looking good there, Yaz Hans. Hey, do your Yaz Hans for me. Uh, <laughs> Very good. Do you like that? Very droll. You know what? I want to use my special marinating bowl. I left it in the cupboard next to the desk a while back. Uh, oh. Why is this locked, Yaston Villa? Well, there's nothing in there. But my cleaning stuff. And my special marinading bowl. Anyway, why does a bottle of bleach need to be locked away? I don't know. I just got into the habit. Oh, no. 
No. Have you been tempted to drink it? Drink what? The bleach. I read an article about an alky who used to drink that when she was bladdered. Of course not. But come on, no, I'm excited now. Why don't you show me what you've got in your magical lady cave of hidden treasures? I... I, I can't remember where I put the key. Well, you better find it, um... baby. Because Daddy's waiting. And Daddy means business. Oh. Is it in this drawer? No. Mind you, I'm getting excited. Why? I think you're pulling my leg. I know what it is. What? What is? You've got a present for me under there, haven't you? You've got a present for me in your special hidey hole. No, I haven't. Well, you're hiding something from me, sweet pea. I can tell. It's just my cleaning stuff. Well, you have to find the key then, Cheeky Chops. Is it in your pockets? Do you want me to help you find it? No, it's fine. Do you? Is no. It... <laughs> Jeff, no. Is it? Jeff? Is it? Is it? Oh, no, no. Jeff, is it? Is it? Oh! Are you thick or what? No. Well, then. What? I've got two words for you. Open sesame. I stand at the door and knock. Knock, knock! Who's there? Doctor! Doctor who? Get back in your TARDIS, mister! Gosh! Get it out. <clears throat> and open it. Zip action, Yasmin. Did you learn that at college with all your other brain box talents? No. Ooh, life is full of disappointments, eh? Oh, Ooh, look, what do we have here? Full of Yasmin stuff. Planning on going somewhere, dear? Well, maybe she's leaving. Mind your own nosy hole. I just packed it for Zidane's wedding. You know I packed it for Zidane's wedding. So why didn't you unpack it? I, I didn't get round to it. You must think I was born yesterday. It'd be much more poetic if I were using vodka. But needs must. What are you doing? Stay inside and shut up. Flash mob choir. Mm -hmm. I was watching it. <coughs> I'm sorry, polluting your smalls. I do apologise. It's an awful lot of smoke for a bit of garden waste, if you don't mind me saying. Just some rubbish we don't need anymore. You know, they brought the clean air out for stuff like that. Well, it's a one off, it won't last long. Jay, so if you weren't Tim's dad, Where were you going to go? Nowhere. No time for lying, Yasmin. I don't know. Well, you were obviously keen to go, so go on. 
Where's the door? Get lost. Hope you don't get run over by a ten-ton truck. I stick by what William Morris said. Have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. You tick neither of those boxes, so off you trot. Go on. I'm sick of looking at you. You see, you can't, can you? I don't want to. No, that's right. Because no other idiot would have you. Just muggins here with no self-esteem and sex-based infections. You've got no one but me. So forget about beggaring off and shut up. Finally. You know, you should be down on bending knee worshipping me for letting you stay. So, come on. What? On your knees. Going nowhere, Yasmin. Say the words. What, what words? I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. See? I'd rather see you dead than with someone else. Clothes here, best before September 2018. Don't say it. My mother fed a family of eight without sell-by dates. I took care over that. Good food, good money. And for what? I had no idea. Three times I called you. Um, I thought I set my alarm. You had it. Yeah, and I'm keeping it. And that and the laptop. For your own good. And I, I, I haven't even seen Zidane's photographs yet. You know, it's bad enough missing his wedding. Me and my faulty heart. Please, darling. You made me breakfast, darling. Thank you, darling. Sit. Eat. I couldn't stomach it. Did you eat yesterday? There you go, then. With, with the stress, the medication. I think I'd be sick. Brunch. Eat. What is this? A hunger strike? Eat! It's cold. Well, it wasn't at eight o'clock this morning when I shouted you. Yeah? You're going to keep serving this up for every meal? Not up to standard, Lady Mook. I'm ill. Snap! And drugged up to the nines, thanks to you. Because I hate it. I feel unclean. You are. Diseased. In mind as well as body. Paranoid. Mentally unstable. What your friends in the PC brigade had called exhibiting challenging behaviour. I mean, back in a secret suitcase. What kind of wife does that? A stupid one. At last. Some sense. Marriages need to be worked at. Starting now, take time to reflect on what you've done and how you'll do things differently from now on. Where would we be without podcasts, eh? It isn't teeny tiny tears. Why do I keep upsetting you? Well, I do wonder. I've just seen Ryan in the Rovers showing off Alia's photos from Zidane's wedding. You know, by the sound of it, I don't think your grandchildren missed us at all. I was sat in Roy's minding my own, and there's Peter Barlow, the patron saint of Alkies, giving it all that. 
apparently some local lush, a more mature lady, shall we say, has been throwing herself at him. Now, he feels sorry for the poor deluded old bat, but he doesn't quite know how to tell her to sling her rug. And then it suddenly it struck me, the suitcase. You packed it for Peter. Oh, no! For the day that bargain basement James Dean came and swept you off your feet. Bless your poor, demented no, little brain. I barely know Peter Barlow. Deviation. So, you haven't got the hots for him? He just tried to help me. A a a obfuscation. Do you fancy the pants off him? Never crossed my mind. Because now, every time I see you with him... No, I won't speak to him. I don't anyway. And if I see him in the street from now on, I I I I I'll cross over. You're the only man I want. For the rest of my life, I wish you would believe me. So... The wedding went well, then. May, may I please log on to see the wedding photos? I'll think about it. What do you think you're doing? Please, this, this kitchen smells. Just let me feed the chickens. Now she's interested in food. That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> now look what you've done. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Criminal, your precious chicken's could have eaten most of that. And now the floor needs mopping. Again. Oh, do it. Please, I just have some fresh air, please. While it, while, it, while it's drying, what harm can it do? Oh, my girls. I'm sorry I'm so late for your food. Oh, Hot house in the hens. Oh, you nearly took off, then. Dolly Daydream, I call her. Doesn't know what day it is most of the time, do you, Dolly? <laughs> well, I'm glad I've caught you, because Faye has put us on the guest list at the bistro. The trial in these new menus, plus we're going to get a sneak peek of the renovations before it opens up. Lucky you. Now, oh, and you. Tim and I want you both to be our guests. Shame. Yasmin's not well. Uh, I'm on some tablets. A um, few days and I'll be right as rain. Oh, come, Yasmin. It'll put you up a bit. Look, she can't put a front on when she's poorly. Well, a change of scenery do you the world of good. And this is a hot ticket. You've not eaten yet, have you? Right, well, there you go, then. Save you from cooking. I don't want to be a killjoy. Well, then don't. I'm going to tell Faye to book us in early. You'll be home and tucked up in bed by nine o'clock. You let people walk all over you. Go round, then. Tell them I'm not well enough. What, play bad cop? Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Big bad Jeff, misery on a mountain. A, a dinner invitation, though. From family who want to spend time with you. You're, you're a lucky man. You'll only embarrass me. Best behaviour. Indoor voice. I promise. Oh, my good blue shirt needs ironing. <sighs> and if they ask you why you're on tablets... Ear infection. They won't suspect a thing. You're not going like that. At least put a decent frock on. They were in the suitcase. Well, everything you owned. Well, my good party stuff burnt. And that's my fault, I suppose. Look, you've deliberately picked your shabbiest sack to go out in. Why? So they'll ask you. And you can tell them, your husband's a tyrant. This is quite smart, isn't it? Not smart enough, love. Right. 
This was going to be a surprise. Now that's that ruined. Yeah, put it on. You bought this for me. Yeah, let's see it on you. Now? We're already late. Sally said half six. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she thinks I'm going to jump her bones because that was so rewarding last time. Chop, chop! Come on, your public awaits. Stand up straight. It's supposed to cling in all the right places. I haven't worn a size 12 for years. Oh, my fault again. You know what? Forget it. We're already late. I'll ring Tim and Sally. No, Jeff. Well, if it's too much trouble... No, I'm ready. You want to know I've lost weight? It's, it's lovely. You don't want to upset Tim and Sally. And Faye. She wanted to impress her granddad. Ah, oh. oh, I feel a bit underdressed. Yasmin, you look. How did she look to me? Well, uh, wow, yeah. No words. You said it was a hot ticket. Jeff surprised me with this dress, but if it's too much of a statement, I can change no, 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 it. No, 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 not when there's pints waiting to be sunk. It's an early sitting, isn't it? No, it's fine. We've got another half an hour yet. Seven o'clock, I did tell you. Doesn't listen. <laughs> right. Next round's on me. I'm really looking forward to the meal. It's terribly good of you. Are well, you joking after everything you've done for us? A little bird tells me you used to be a bookie. Yeah, on course. Can you do tic tac? Nobody can vogue. Yeah, don't ever ask him for a tip because Grand National, Gold Cup, the answer will always be the same. Dusty carpets, never been beat. Yeah, let me get them. It. Sally, passes me wallet. <laughs> Might run off with it. Well, you won't get far on a season ticket and a five year run, no. <laughs> laughing at you. No, I'm please. not having it. Leave it. Leave it, please. Oh, one more smirk and I'll knock his block off. Shh. Ignore them. I have. Get these glasses, Dad. Come on. Yeah. No, oh, I'll get it. No. Sit, Sal. Oh, yeah. killer dress, she has me. So. Yesterday, on the show, a young woman turns up at her date, turns up at the restaurant and blow me. Let me guess, her ex-husband. It's worse. It's her father! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mercy. Excuse me. Hey, uh, Yaz, are you all right? Do you want me to come with you? Please don't fuss. Hey, I'm telling you about my radio show. Yeah, it's dating slot. All the hospital's going crazy for it. I've got punters time in their visits. <laughs> You're wasted at that place. Hey, I'm thinking it might turn into a good podcast. <laughs> About dating. Well, what does he know about dating? He's an happily married man. Tell my wife. Somebody tell my wife. <laughs> You're so funny, Jeff. They should bottle him and dispense him on the NHS. Oh, Jeff Acetamol. Jeff Acetamol. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you only have to mention weddings and the other 30% to the bill. Yeah. Anyway, we've got our theme. It's timeless elegance. Yes. Thanks to you, we can achieve it. Yeah. You're not just our in-laws, you're, you're our friends. Kathy, Brian, won't you uh, pull up a chair? No, it's all right, thanks. Uh, we're meeting a pal. Yes, mm -hmm. we're out with Tim and Sally. Just saying. Right, raise your glasses. Oh. Um, what, what, what are we toasting? To you two for making our dreams come true. Oh, oh don't go bashful on us, you. This is serious. 
without your generosity. Yeah, what would our wedding breakfast have been? It would have been shandy and a few sausage rolls. Yeah, the first dance around a blooming jukebox. <laughs> to the other happy couple. You know about this, do you? Of course he does. To family. To family. 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 Oh, what are you celebrating? Oh, don't ask. Let him see another 500 pictures of Sally's wedding dress. Oh, I'm going to show you, cos Carla is a fashionista. <laughs> hey, Carla, look at this. Nottingham lace. Nottingham lace. Gifted. Hmm? He's my only son. Why should he have to do this on the cheap? Keep your voice down. How much? I took a dividend from Speed Down. So the money wasn't for the menus. What is this? The third degree? I am a shareholder. So, so am I. So is Alia. So much for the indoor voice. Do you want to ruin the night? How much did you give them? Darling, we can discuss this at oh, home. Rough. Roughly hundreds, thousands. You want to do this now? Fine. Get your coat. Shift. <laughs> Sal, we're going. He's no, good face gone to all this trouble. Don't you dare turn the waterworks on in here. Oh, please don't. I, I'll, I'll back up. I will. I will. Sorry, guys. Yaz isn't up to it. So tell Faye we're very, very sorry. It should have been a lovely night, but when you got to go, you got to go. Oh, oh no, Yasmin, what is it? Well, it's my fault. I shouldn't have bought her in the first place. We can go back. It's not too late. Tell them I needed some fresh air. You need a frontal lobotomy. That's what you need. Oh, please, I won't read another word. It's a compulsion. You have to ruin everything. I feel sick. Stick your head between your knees. Go on. Get inside. I'm sorry, Jeff. Please don't go back without me. Never you mind where I'm going. She likes to rule the roost. If you don't... Hey. I hope didn't see me sneak back with this. I don't know how I'm going to face her. We'd be eating like kings now, but for you and your histrionics. I'm sorry. Spitting out your dummy, cos I spent a few bob of our money to help my son. Yes, our money for richer, for poorer. You do remember our wedding day, the most magical day of my life. Quote. It was. What was I thinking of giving you that dress? Well, I can tell you what I was thinking of, actually. Firm thighs, full cups, hips you can hold, creamy young skin, glossy red lips. What? You actually thought I'd bought it for you? <laughs> like, that sassy little number screams Yasmeen. <laughs> I bought it for someone who'd fill it in all the right places. Oh, no, 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 it's a bit late for a strip tease, Yasmeen. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Please don't say that! Get off me! <laughs> Not again. What is wrong with you? Uh, please, I just... I just want you to love me like you used to. Oh, please, can you hear yourself? <gasps> that wheedling voice. Uh, what is there to love? Uh, You're a shell of a woman, a husk, scrabbling on the floor like a dog. A scrawny, pathetic lap dog. Oh, do you want a chip, little doggy? Here you are. Have a chip. Have another. Have another. Fetch. Fetch. <laughs> Put your back into it, Yasmeen. Eh? Hey? Well, those escorts could show you a thing or two. Escorts? That's right. Escorts. Plural. They're all about the buzz and the banter. What you'd call joie de vivre, like a lost for life. I don't stand there feeling sorry for yourself, you bony old boar. You drove me to it. Look at you. Cowering. Trying to make me feel bad. Well, I don't feel bad. I feel angry. I want to shake some life into you. Where's your dignity, woman? Fawning all over me. Make my skin crawl. Uh, Why can't you grow a spine? Uh, 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 Here you go again. Uh, Flinch like I'm some kind of monster. Uh, if only you could look at yourself. A snivelling, stinking, shriveled up excuse for a wife, dead behind the eyes and from the waist down. And here's me, thinking of all the long years ahead. <laughs> 
tortured by your incessant buzzing like a fly I just long to swat. Till death do us part, God spare me. Maybe I should kill you. Do the world of you. Would anybody really notice if you were gone? <laughs> 